Hello, good day. Howdy, howdy, howdy. Corb's here with another Red Dead RP stream as Jar Hughes on the Diablo RP server. For anyone that may be lurking, hope you've had a nice weekend. Another nice weekend that is unfortunately inevitably coming to a close. They always go by too fast. But then there'll be another one. Yay! So tonight, of course, is George going to be um, trying to fit in some going on patrol in the law department. And then uh, I think it's at 8 p.m., if I'm not mistaken. We have some uh, altered law training going on down in New Austin. So that'll be good as well. Bit of catching up with the bunch of people from the departments. And uh yeah. This should be a sh should be a good time. Oh I've got the try got the newspaper. I need to read that. I need to read that. Hello, Gazozo! Sup nerd! How you doing? How goes the mining? Do, do, do. Oh, yeah, I better go change. Better go change into my uniform. Oh, yep. Close, please. Oh, for fuck. Oh, okay. Oh. Right. That doesn't look right. Just a doorway into the void. <laughs> oh my god. Don't open that door! Pretty good. Burrito bestie. Oh look, I've been I've been called worse things. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going alright. Bit of a lazy weekend, but that's good, right? What are the difference between these? What did I what did I do differently between these? So I'm gonna go west too. Cause it'll be more up to date, right? Alright. So we've got the right uniform on, we're on duty. Uh I think I've got plenty of food and drink. Yeah. Yeah, this should be right for a bit. How much money have I got on me? About two, yeah, I was trying to keep about 20 bucks on me. Uh, let's see, is there any current reports? So, what's the time now? 5.55, so that was about over an hour ago. Someone was digging up graves and roads. Look, I'm sure, even though it's that's east, I'm sure that's okay to go. Uh, roads again, over an hour ago. An hour ago. An hour ago, an hour ago, an hour ago, an hour ago, an hour ago. Ooh, just under an hour ago. Five, five thirty-six or so twenty minutes ago. Digging up graves. Where was that? Where was that taking place? I don't think it's going to tell me. So. That gets deleted. Um, I think that's the same instance. Alright, the, the alerts is now clear. I'm doing my part. I did, where like, the horse was spinning on the wagon. I called that briefly when I was... Mid, pre or post nap, I think. Sorry, I've been really slack at getting back to people today. It's been a very, a very lazy Sunday. Incredibly lazy. Is there somewhere good to sit on the main street? Oh yeah, there's a bench there. 
There's a chair there. There's a bear as well. Oh, hello. A, wit a witness has reported a crime. No incidents reported. So is that, that's for Pinkertons, is it? I think that's for Pinkertons. I don't... I don't think there's anything I can really do with that. Unless someone came and verbally told me. And, okay. Yeah? That's great. What do you want me to do? <laughs> oh, here's a nice chair. Down. Down on the corner. Down in the street. So is this how we sit down now? How about you give me some space, huh? Is there one where it's like you're reading? to read the newspaper oh there's a fan one oh oh no okay I'm free wait there's one with a fan let's see this let's see this Who is that? Where'd you see that? Gazozo? That's where where's the equality? What if what if I wanna fan myself as well? Working hard. Working hard on the job. <laughs> Working real hard. Just don't give a fuck, eh? Might be hot. George Hughes is definitely hot. On account of being lit on fire. Oh, there goes Arthur... Arthur... Morgan? get a good look was there supposed to be subtle howdy hammer how you going mate howdy palmer oh oh he's putting things out in a fire that's not there i see what's happening here that was a good sit sit down emote until he um silly side poking at a fire all right i think that's all right Let's, uh, let's read the paper, finally. Oh, yeah. This is good. Hey, Essential. Hey, Dawn. How to partner? I don't think this is how Hello. the paper is supposed to be. Maybe it's because I've done it from while sitting down. I will cancel the emote and we'll try from standing. Okay. How about you give me some space, huh? <laughs> Is this funny for you? Fuck, sorry, I'm dude. Bored. 
Oh, sorry, pun. I'm just reading the paper. I didn't know you were sweeping I'll on this exact. you out like a dog. Hey! <coughs> Back the fuck up! Is that. Hey! Do you yield? Jesus Christ, I didn't know you were sweeping that precise spot, you sack of shit. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Fucking bastard. <laughs> it was good until this guy attacked me, Hammer. about what you've done. <laughs> Jeez Louise. What a dick. All right. Why is the why is why is my mouse fucking weird? I think my mouse is going over to the other monitor. Okay, I think that's fixed. What am I doing wrong with this paper? Why, why can't I read it properly? Is this the guy? He's just woken up? Is he really limping back to attack me again? Don't you fucking do it. Yay. Keep walking. Keep fucking walking. Ah! Take it easy now. So Is that fucking Todd? No. I don't have oh, these fucking menus, dude. I don't want that up. Fucking hell. I think that was Todd. I think that was fucking Todd. 30 stream streak. Holy shit, dude. Holy shit, dude. Thanks, mate. That's... That's insane. <laughs> I don't... I don't know what I expected there. <laughs> That's right, it's good to support the homies and it and usually it costs nothing. Just trying to read the newspaper while keeping an eye on the main street. I think my suppliers are creaming off the top. Count came up short. Ah! Hey! Come back here! Stop! Pull over! How'd you run? Todd, is that you? Uh, yes. Uh, no, stop. What are you Please. doing? Please stop. What are you doing? Uh, uh, I was having fun. I was keeping you on your toes. I'm trying to read the newspaper, Todd. Who reads the newspaper while walking? I'm not walking. Oh, you were walking. Was I? Yeah. I'm walking here. Anyway, I'll be back in a minute. Okay. Hey, say, Sam. Hey, you going, mate? Fucking Woodman.
Why? Has this happened to anyone else where the newspaper just doesn't... It just doesn't load? That's annoying. Going well. Did heaps of work on the office last night. Is that the... Is that the the IRL office? Or is that... That office? <laughs> I'll be on shortly and show you. Right, it's the game office. Okay. <laughs> well, Philippe, best viewers on what? Best viewers on what? On what? Whoa. Best... Are you... Best viewers? What? And goodbye. Fucking bot. <laughs> You've also been doing lots of stuff at home too. That's... That's very nice to hear. Oh yeah, I gotta put my um Uh oh, it's doing it again. Yep, it's doing it again. The damn The damn vest. Hmm. That is frustrating. Yeah, we gotta tell Bowman that... Problematic. This vest. Is he... Is he just clocking on? Or is he like, logged off to go have dinner? I don't know what he's doing. I don't know what he's doing. Quickly look at the other vests. Um, so it's it's number seven. be able to do about it. It was working last stream.
Oh, I'm in the walkway. It's quiet. Too quiet. when Woodman will be back. That gazebo thing always been there. What the heck? Oh dear. Let's get you away from the counter. It's your deal. Who the hell are you? A little dog. Alcohol. It's expensive. Where the hell do you buy cigarettes? Howdy. Do, 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 do. Oh yeah, I've been meaning to tell 
the devs in that that you can only access this one from behind the counter. Oh, you actually get a can opener. Pardon me. Never sure of where I hear gunshots. Sorry to disturb you, ma'am. Uh, oh, Lord of Palmer, uh, did you hear a gunshot just now? Oh, no, no, I didn't hear, hear anything. Didn't hear anything? Okay, must have come from this way then. Well, thank you anyway. No worries. Just be careful, I heard a gunshot. I wonder if my sound is configured right on my computer or my game, but I swear it is. Not seeing any disturbed NPCs. Whoa! Howdy, partners! Howdy, partner. Hey, George. Sorry to disturb you. I just I heard a gunshot before. Is everybody okay? Anybody seen anything? Uh, no, I haven't seen anything. We're all right. Yeah. Okay. No worries. Wait, where where did you hear it? Well, I heard it in around the middle of town. I swear I heard it coming from this way, but sometimes the echoes confuse me. 
bounce off the hills incorrectly. That's right. Could, uh, be, could be could be coming up from the plains, but but as long as everybody's here is okay, I haven't seen anyone else. That's, that's all I can really do. Yeah, yeah we're right. good, Sheriff. Well, thanks for checking. Thanks, thanks for, for checking, checking in. in. Oh, no problem. You, no. you have a good, safe night. Same you too. Maybe I'll check the planes because I think I saw a poster about the bisons getting hunted a lot. I gotta remember to check the planes. Where are all the bison? Where are they? Someone may have taken a tumble off the off the windmill. Ah, here they are. Witnesses reported a crime. That's great. Oh, I didn't mean to spook them. You better not be coming to hunt bison. Where to fucking go on, mate? What do you want? Out here hunting bison. Quite the opposite, what are you sir. Hunting the bison. Yeah, I thought you're supposed to uphold the law, and you're hunting these beautiful creatures. There's been no hunting going on on my on my camp. I see that gun on your back. Oh, we we saw the flock spooked. We're going over that tree there. We saw the flock get spooked by somebody. I said somebody's hunting those poor bison. And we see you sitting on a hill. I mean, join the dots on that one. That is a rifle on your back. It sure is. We're very observant of you. Thank you. Hey, give me a job if you want. <laughs> I'm kidding, friend. But uh, what are you doing spooking the bison if you ain't hunting them? Well, I ain't spooking them. I'm keeping an eye on them. I seem spooking. We saw them sprinting across the paddock from the fall. That's why we came over here. 
Well, I would say that most animals that ain't domesticated move away from uh, things that they do not do not know or trust. And most people in general, you could say the same of, no? And yet, a riderless horse approaches. How strange. Nope, thought better of it. Nope, it's a wild Yeah, it is. Hey, good to see the bison has settled down that way. Good to easy. see they're being protected. Absolutely. I hear the natives are supposed to, uh, you know, uh, protect the bison somewhat, but I find me and young daddy out here doing it more often than not. We ain't ever seen a native uh, protecting this herd. I can't say I've seen one either. This is my first time taking it upon myself to keep an eye on them because I, you know, I saw a poster recently where they were expressing their concern about the amount of bison hunting going on. So you here Careful, for the Careful, they might think you're hunting them. Well, well that's what we thought. Well, they're welcome to watch and uh, you know, all day and all night, and then uh, ascertain that you are not. Learn that I'm not. I'm simply just. It's quiet down on the street of Blackwater, so I figured I'd keep an eye on the bison while the sun's out. Let's hope it stays quiet on the streets of Blackwater. I got a business there. I don't want things getting them really light. But, uh, question for you there, uh, I don't know which of all type you are, but you look like one of them. Is you out here hunting, um, the people hunting the bison, or are you out here hunting the native that threatened to scout uh, the people hunting the bison? Oh, I, I haven't heard about any s s threats of scalping going on, but I was just gonna, if there was anybody looking Did at hunting the these poster? bison, I was gonna be yeah, having strong words with them. You see the same poster we saw, or is it if anyone were hunting them, they'd be skinned? Jesus, no, I must have missed that part. I used to read the fine print, no? And I mean, look, I know them beasts is endangered, but if a man were hungry and were to drop home with a rifle to feed his family, can't really blame him for that. There's plenty oh. of deer and that in, in bears in tall trees. Oh, there yeah, is. There is. Bison's last forever. You get a lot of beef off that. Exactly. And big family, especially them Christian types. Um, yeah. You know, so... Who's the greater evil here? A man that kills a bison to feed his family or the native that skins him for doing so? Well, I think at the end of the day, we are on their land and we got to respect their their viewpoints on everything, their authority of the land, so to speak. So if they've so made Hamish it very So Hamish is going around asking them to pay a tax on their storage too, is it? Who? Hamish. Who's Hamish? Hamish is the business manager going around all the businesses that paid for the land they're on, charging them, giving them $4,000 bills and this sort of thing. For the Don't storage. worry, I'd avoid him too. I, I've never... I just wondering if he's doing that for the natives, given this is their land, you know? I've, I've never met this Hamish. He's doing that with every business? Yeah. Gave the Montanas a $4,000 bill for their farm storage. Jesus. And they ain't complaining about it. I just find it out myself. I... I don't know. I'll have to ask my superiors about that. I don't really pay much attention on that side. I think just try to make sure there's no shenanigans going on. Speaking of shenanigans, keep an eye open. I hear a snake. Yeah, no, I mean, you know, I guess it's white collar crime. Probably is one way to say it is, you know, when those uh, educated types rip people off like that. It does tend to go under the radar, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah, well, first I've heard, you know, first step is raising awareness of it. Well, that's true, man, it's like, like that native did with that poster about skinning people that hunt the bison. I ain't seen them around, like I said, me and young Dottie have been out plenty, keeping an eye on that herd, making sure they're safe. Oh, it's very yeah, good of you. He called me young. Say again? I said, oh. you hear that? He called me young. I ain't no one gets to an old age in this county, honey. Who'd want to win anyway? Well, I'd rather if the natives didn't scout people over a crowd. Hey, look, I'd rather they were processed. Between first. me and you, I prefer if they didn't scout people too. I'll try and I might. Yeah, it doesn't sound fun. I might speak no, to the, the sheriff and see if we can arrange a meeting with him. Tell him, you know, you're welcome to protect the bison and bring him in, but, but, but hold off on the scout. Yeah, well, if you swing out Valentine, have a look at another, another look at that poster on the post, and you find there ain't no lie. But then as well, we, you know, with 
if it becomes common knowledge between with everybody that you know if, if the natives catch you hunting bison and you know that they're gonna scalp you if they catch you well it's a bit foolish to be doing it until it's resolved yeah hey that or you catch yourself native as well that would be very that would, sounds fun i don't think they'd look kindly on that either Okay, I'm sure they wouldn't, but if it's my life against theirs, I know which horse I'm going to back, so to speak. Man, at the end of the day, we're all just trying to make a living and put some food on the table for our family. True. They want to skin people. There's people more uh, well suited to that punishment than a guy hunting a bison. That's great. I'd love to help. Hope that means something to someone. Out on the plains. <laughs> Coyote in here. We've got. It's. I'm watching the bison, Zoza. I'm watching the bison. These poor bison are getting hunted. These majestic creatures are getting hunted. Not only that, but it's also it's disrespectful. To the Native Americans. <laughs> I won't stand for it. 
It's very illegal. Like, you've got to have a... I think you've got to have a hunting license in general, but... You cannot get a, any sort of license to hunt bison. Because I believe... Don't quote me on this. I believe they're, they're sacred to the Native Americans or something. I don't know. But, but yeah, it is... It's a serious crime. If we catch anyone hunting bison... We will be fine in them and Siska time. Uh, I haven't seen any, but I've heard over the last week or two there's been lots of hunting, so I'm trying to, when it's quiet in Blackwater, to just spend a bit of time watching over them. I don't think that would be illegal per se, but a Native American would probably, um, would probably want to escalate it. What if I gave it a I, you'd have to speak to the the Native Americans. I don't know what their dress code is for. The b bison. <laughs> uh -oh. partner. Yes. We just spoke about this to the other guy, the other police officer. We did a um, boat delivery. Yep. And we got jumped by the blokes at D's landing. Oh. And this guy was hiding in the bushes, so it gave us a little a little marker to, to get the bounty. And I uh, <laughs> just dragged this bloke back to Thieves Landing. Oh, so he was trying to he was trying to jump you when you're doing a boat delivery. Yeah, and now they told us that we had to, you know, this is a bounty target, so I've tried to bring him into the uh, bounty part. Oh, excellent. Uh, Oh, well, two birds, one stone. Oh, good yeah, stuff. But, yeah, but he's, um, he kind of went through the water on the way back. So, uh, he's not too crash hot. Well, look, you've done your best, but he really shouldn't have jumped you. you. What? What? Why do you still have him on you? Because he's, the, the oh. officer here stopped me. Oh, me oh officer, I man. already spoke to a sheriff down there about the situation. That's all right. I just had to check. Did I? I'd get in a lot of trouble him? if I didn't check. Um, sea burial, I think. Who's the other officer, if I may ask? Uh, Woodman, it was. Woodman? He's back, is he? He was just over at the bank or the... Yeah, yeah he, that he's way. at the sheriff's oh, Good, I've been waiting for him. Thank you. No worries. No problem there, just just had to check. He's a lazy bastard. <laughs> Todd, what are you doing? For a bounty. What do you mean, what am I doing? Doing my job, what are you doing? I've been doing my job also. Come here one sec. You just let someone run past them a body. No, I asked them. They, that some person was jumping them down at Thieves Landing. Okay. You got your horse? You want to head out on patrol? We'll go check Strawberry and Valentine? Uh... Oh, it's gonna rain. And? 
It's oh. also gonna pull. Is that a problem? It's what? It's also gonna pull. Yeah. All right. Why are you riding the police for? So I wanna, I wanna get, have a better relationship with my horse. Oh, but do you want me to show you something real fun? What? Do you want me to show you something really fun to do? I, I guess. Okay, watch this. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. No, no, no. Todd? Todd? Todd, where'd you go? I'm, I'm, I'm up here. Where? Hold on, I'm coming around. Oh my god. Oh, how'd you get your horse up there? Well, we, we walked up here. Look at me. I'm a horse in the second story of the house. That's... You better you better get down from there before the marshals come back. Oh, uh, they, they won't care, will they? D yes! You sure? I, I, I'd be willing to bet you money they will care quite a lot. Oh, have I to leave the horse in here? No. I... Todd, if I would come out with that horse now or else I... I don't think it'll be good. Oh... It's fun, though. You're gonna get horse shit all through their floors. Yeah, I, I guess so. They, all they, right. They're not gonna look. They're not gonna look kindly on it. They could be back any minute, Todd. All right. Hurry. Oh my God. <laughs> right, Mrs. Beetle. Literally the highest horse. <laughs> Wait, where's your horse? Inside. No. What's it doing in there? I don't want it to get wet. No. Horses are used to it. Todd. Uh -huh. Todd, look. Uh -huh. I don't have the authority to tell order you to get it out, but I'm just recommending as a friend that if you don't get it out, I think you're going to be in trouble. Okay. Oh my god. I'm expecting to see the marshals come walking over like any second now. Uh, it's stuck. Oh, come on. What? How? How'd you even get in there? I just, I just walked it in. I can't walk in. You, you can't walk in? No. What? Really? Come on. Get out of there. How, how can you not walk in? There's doors. Okay, okay, I've got an idea, I've got an idea. What are you doing? Ah, ah. No, I don't want to come in. You need to come out. Ah. Okay, okay, that didn't work. No, I don't want to go in. You got You might have to jump your horse off the balcony. Oh, there we go. Okay. Oh my God, Todd. How good is it, though? That's that's not good at all. Yeah, I'll go get my police horse. Oh my God. <laughs> Todd, Todd, Todd. Oh, so, the police horses have a really large flea range in that I, I let go of my horse and I just sent the other horse away too. Oh. But yeah, you know, you've heard that there's the train at eight o'clock. Down yeah. in Armadillo? Yeah. But I figured we, we should probably go check Strawberry Valentine in the ranch between now okay. and there. I've been I've been popping in around Blackwater out at the Bisons and that, and they haven't been able to see anything bad happening. Look around here as well. Hey? Oh, uh, uh, who's this fella? Oh, howdy. Hey, fella, can I get you to get your long arm off your back, please? 
I'm I'm just joking. I'm just joking, Ames. Oh, is that Ames? Yeah. What's going on, George? Oh, Wood Woodman and I are going on patrol for the training tonight. Are you gonna come on patrol? No, I've got shit to do in my building. Oh. Okay. I, I only patrol where I'm needed, and at the moment I'm not needed anyway. So All right. I'm working on the building. Okay. Sounds tough. Well, you know, you might want to come out with the boys and hang out, but all uh, right. A little bit I will. I just got to get this finished. I've been working on it for a while. Don't strain yourself too much when you're picking, like, a colored pan or anything, okay? Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> come on, Todd. Daylight's burning. <laughs> Fucking desk jockey motherfucker. Imagine that. Your job's just sitting at a desk all day, Todd. Oh, yeah. Ridiculous. So, were you hunting bison, did you say? No, I was out watching the herd. Oh, okay. Did you know? Now, I heard that the natives were a bit appalled at how much bison hunting's going on, but did you know that I, they've I've been I've not seen a single alert about that. I, I don't think Not one. I don't think people tell us. I think we've got to be, we've got to see it with our own eyes. Oh okay. So just when it's quiet in Blackwater, I think I'm just gonna come on and watch the herd for a bit, just when I can. Oh. <laughs> He's just watching him. But did you know that the natives have threatened to scalp anyone they catch? Hunting bison? Oh, I'll let him do it. Well, look, considering the amount of grief we've given the Native Americans since coming to this land, I don't blame them. You know, how they want to do things is their business, but but I feel like maybe we should get the sheriff to, or, you know, maybe a marshal to go speak to their chief just to come meet in the middle. Okay. Well, like, maybe what we if should also uh, speak to the marshal about... Uh... You know, making sure the locals get the messages to us that the bison's are being hunted. I, I think that's a great idea. Because we, I, I think that would help a lot. We can't spend every wet and waking moment there. You know, no. we may be out there watching the bison, but then but what if... What if someone's getting robbed in the street of strawberry? Yeah. <clears throat> oh, by the way, the strawberry blacksmiths, they've moved down to Blackwater. Oh, well, I, yeah, I saw a lot of people hanging around down Blackwater yeah. Blacksmiths tonight. Yeah, there's a lot down there now. Oh, that, do they seem like good people? Uh, some people don't like them. Others like them, so I don't know. Hmm. Why don't but people I think, like uh, them? Uh, I, I, don't, I don't know. Uh, uh, I know Miss Amanda doesn't like them. Mr. Who? Miss Amanda down at uh, Emerald Ranch. Oh, why doesn't she like him? <laughs> I, I don't, I, I don't really know, but because uh, uh, I was talking to her about getting my pick done up, right? And oh yeah. Like, no, don't go to them. They're not good. Had oh, a hello. Uh, yeah. So she's like, no, go somewhere else. I'm like, what? I don't understand. But uh, I've been spending a bit of time around them because I've been doing a lot of mining. So. Well, that'd be good. They, 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 they've been helping me uh, guide me on what I need to make my perfect pickaxe. Well, sounds like they're all right. Yeah. I said howdy, partner. So, like, you know, tips and things like that, and all this. So, I know, said which howdy. To go to and when and, and stuff. Howdy. howdy. Oh, sorry. You all right? How dare you, Zozo? How dare you? Everybody's leaving strawberry. Yep. I guess Valentine. How are you, Mister? Yeah, it seems quiet. I don't think we have time to scour the forest in case of maybe someone stealing a mushroom. And we can always come. We can always stop through here on the way back. We we go Valentine, then the ranch, then come back the way we came. Okay. Just in case. Oh, oh, I had some reports of fi of uh, thieves mm -hmm. at uh, Flatnet Station. Now I've been there plenty of times. Now mm -hmm. I've never seen a thief there, but yeah. 
What the hell would they be wanting to steal that uh, name? Cause, cause that's where you sell your, your gems. Oh. Oh, howdy, partner. Wow. Ah! This is ridiculous. Careful. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> Whoa, girl, settle down. Ah! Oh, oh my God. Oh my ah! God. <laughs> uh -oh. Oh, what is going on? <laughs> She's done. Oh, it hurts. Are you okay, Mish? No. He ran into me on his horse. I oh, think, my I insurance. Think, I think he's not there. I think that's your insurance right there. I'll show oh. the insurance in a deep Ma'am, I'm really sorry about that, but did you not see us coming? I'm partially blind in my left eye. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Well, you look. You should be sorry. I'm very sorry, man, but look, the horse well, is you, okay. You, 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 your horse did kick him in the face, though, so that was pretty cool. His horse kicked me! That, yeah, oh, no, it, someone whose horse. My horse kicked her in the face, but Todd. My horse responded out of anger for so, the abuse what, what, that I've name, suffered what, here what, today. What's your name, name is? Elizabeth. Uh, hello, Elizabeth. Do you have a last name? Uh, Kindle. Elizabeth Kindle, hello. I'm Todd. Hi. This is Hughes, and Howdy. that's horse whose name is Asshole. No, it's... Georgie, come back here! Georgie, you come back here and you say sorry right now. Yes, no, I'm sorry. Don't you stay what over there when I'm talking to you. Come on. Don't be shy. No, slow down. Okay. Yeah, I want a full apology, George. So, my name's George, and this is my horse, oh. Georgie. Oh, okay. Georgie? Georgie? Speak up. Speak what's working to, Georgie. Georgie, play. you feel real bad. No, 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 bad no, I don't punch you. the horse in the face. Oh, wrong ah. one. Oh, sorry. You just you can't look like a horse. You're ugly. See, now look, anyway. if, if Georgie was holding a grudge, she would have kicked you in the face again now, but she's said, I think well, she's thinking, um... nope, that's fair. <laughs> I want money. Thousand bucks right now, uh, ma'am. That's that's a little excessive. <laughs> Look, nobody's Ten really dollars, hurt. Right? Look, my brain's been a little. <laughs> ma'am, I am, I I offer the most the sincerest apologies on behalf of myself and my horse. I think my arm's broken. Your arm is not broken, ma'am. I need Ten dollars. With a punch like that, your arm is fine. <laughs> well, it was my other arm that's broken. Hold Sorry. on, let me check. Let me check my pockets. <laughs> 96. There you go, ma'am. There's a bit of bread for your trouble. <laughs> so much. Alright, thank you. I'll be taking Georgie. No, ma'am, I need that horse for. We're, oh, thank we're, you. we're on a law patrol, ma'am. Ma'am. Thank you so much. Ma'am, please thank come you. back with my horse. Thank you so much. Yes. No. <laughs> Yeah, yeah! Sorry! Man, no hard feelings, ma'am! It's fine, just... What? What on earth? <laughs> <laughs> howdy, partner. Wait, is that you, Jack? Oh, yes. Oh, howdy, Jack. We're just on patrol uh, heading to Valentine. Uh, okay, okay, I have well, to go slow down your horse there, no long arm. We'll be going to Emerald Ranch after Valentine, and then we'll be coming back, you know, Ranch, oh, okay. Valentine, Strawberry, Blackwater before training down in Armadillo. Oh, yeah. okay. Blackwater put the go on duty, so... No worries. We'll, we'll uh, keep an eye out for you at each stop on the route. Which way are you going first? I'll be in Emerald Ranch. It'll be too long. Uh, yeah, well, Valentine and Emerald. I'll be over Emerald then. Yeah. Okay. All right. We'll, we'll, uh, we'll uh, kill time there. All right. Let's get to Valentine, Todd. Hey, Bud. Hey, Pepper. <laughs> to be fair. To be fair, Todd. We were on both sides of the road. So. Oh, well, yeah, yeah. So you crashed into it, not me. Well, I, I thought she saw us coming. Yeah, that is true. I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be more careful. Where are you going? My brain tells me this is the I fastest way. Okay. 
At it. <laughs> do we do we have time to stop down at Caliga Hall? Where the hell is that? Past Emerald Ranch. Well, that's out of our jurisdiction. Yeah, I know, but I want to talk to the man about my pick. Well, what if we fit that in after training? What if he's not there after training? Well, we shouldn't be going over there while we're on duty. Well, I go there, there all the time when I'm on duty. Well, that's... You gotta at least... And, and they, they come over here when they're on duty, too. Well, that's that should probably be addressed to the training. Like, you shouldn't be going... No, no, because, well, what? Just sit over here all the time when there's nothing going on? And well, then not to go say hi to the others, you know? And then we get an alert when we come back. But, but that's the thing. If you want to go over and say hello or do, you know, your shopping and that, you should probably go off duty. Yeah, but then I have to go all the way to Blackwater and do that. That's ridiculous. Yeah, but then... I'm at Emerald you Ranch get... and I want to go talk to the League of Home, man. I'm not going to ride back to Blackwater, go off duty, and then ride all the way back. It's just a waste of time. But then people could complain that we're getting paid to go shopping. Yeah, but then, you know, we get like $2 an hour, so, you know, who cares? Yeah, well, it's, the, it's the principal. No, no. See, you know, you can make... Out of pawn not! Look at... Oh, oh Jesus Christ! Oh. Are you okay? Hello. Oh. Howdy. Sorry about that. Uh, I thought I thought well, I said sheriffs. I thought oh, I said hello, howdy in time. That's all right. How are you boys doing? All right. You know, <laughs> uh, I'd say keep your eyes open there, Shuba, but you only have one. Shuba. Shuba. Oh, Shuba? I look like Shuba. For fuck's Where's sake. Where's Shuba? Shuba. Shuba's not here. Uh, Shuba's Shuba's that would have been a great one. joke too. Are all you right. implying that Shuba is attached Jeez, to Dolores's hip, and I don't mean in that way? Yes. That's. I see it. So, what are your guys' names? My name is George Hughes. This is uh, my colleague, Todd Wood. Hello. Nice Howdy. to meet you. Yo, oh, man, what was your name, ma'am? Oh, I'm uh, Becky Blade, but you can just call me Bex. Becky hey, Blade, that's very easy to remember. Yes, it is. Nice to meet you, ma'am. How are we all going tonight, folk? Good, good, good. This is William here. Williams, oh, yeah. uh, so Bex and Williams are two new uh, medical recruits, so we're oh. just going around doing some rounds. What, so, so to join a doctor as a man, you have to have the first name of William? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> well, we do have a Wyatt, who's uh, sadly uh, had to uh, to leave us, but um, I guess uh. you could say that. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> now, um... We will be on our way, but it's good to see you. Hey, good to see you. Oh, uh, so so you know, there's another person that wants to be doctor as well. Uh, she's talking to me about it, Miss uh, Louisa Hart. Ah, uh, yes, I spoke to Louisa earlier. Oh, okay, fantastic. Yeah, very good. All right. Um, I guess I'll see you both at the training later. Yeah. Uh, yes. Yeah. All right. Cool. All right. Well, take care. Yeah, he just needs extra medical training. He doesn't know his uh, knee bone from his <laughs> shin bone. Right. <laughs> Doesn't seem like you guys can ride a horse either. Yes. Considering oh, I, I, I had know, an I artery slash, no. I think I'm doing all right. You doing all right? Uh, yeah, okay. You're, you're looking a bit better than the last time I saw you, uh, Mr. Hughes. My neck is in one piece here. currently, which is nice. Yeah, I think you need to keep an eye on that, Marshall. Yeah, he's he's a character. Yeah, he, um, he told me in Schubert that he the other day when we picked him up that he'd drunk about two jugs foot worth of whiskey. Yeah, he... As soon as we go off duty and we're at an event or something, he's just pulling out bottles out of pockets that we don't know anything about. It's it's wild. Yeah, yeah, you might want to keep an eye on that one. Will do. Thank you, ma'am. We'll see you later. All right, see you, fellas. Bye now. See us. All right, Todd. Note to self: If we're crossing bridges or coming down well, roads in towns, that's the second lot already we hit. We, we on bridges and in towns on roads, we need to go single file. Okay. Let's let's make that a thing with the West Palm. Uh, okay. Because anyway, anyway, yeah, I think we should be allowed to be on duty at the moment whenever we want. Well, I would I would bring that up with the sheriff. I don't know if I agree with that. No, no, because, well, you know, it's nice to go and see the others. And they've come and seen us. If, if, if it weren't for that, they wouldn't have been here to help me the other night. I would have been in a lot of trouble. What, what happened? McChicken. 
Pardon? McChicken. Mick what? Mick McChicken and his friend came into uh around Valentine and this is the night after I told McChicken, don't you you know, be around, go away from from the bullshit he was doing. So uh yeah, we had a bit of a, a sh in Valentine multiple times. What did he do? Uh what did he do? Uh well what didn't he do? Jesus Christ. Okay, okay let's put in practice. But, Single file. I'll follow he, you. He's not coming back anymore. Old McChicken had a farm. Past tense. Yeah, so uh, yeah, McChicken's gone uh, because he started putting really bad slurs out there. Oh, that's that is not like, the kind like, of society like, like, we I, want. I, I mean, I mean the absolute worst of the worst. Oh God. Yeah, yeah, and I didn't seem to care about it, so he's gone now. No, that's that. But uh, yeah, if, if it weren't for uh, East Department being in town, it would have been just me and them, and I would have been in a lot of trouble. So that's why I think it's good that we can remain on duty if we cross over, because sometimes stuff happens like that. But why were they coming over this way while I'm duty? Uh, because with? I think they were just looking for somewhere else to patrol, because nothing was happening over there. So they decided to come into Valentine. But what if things are happening over there while they're over here? Well, that heard reports about the chicken and his mate being, doing stupid stuff over there as well. So oh. They'll check in and see if he was over here, you see. Now, they didn't know I was around. See, now I that's know, something I, I agree with. If someone- You know, I, I didn't know they were around either, you know? If a big threat crosses the border and we're unsure if there'll be people to pick that up, I think I agree with you there that we yeah, should be able to cross like, over. You know, because they're still patrolling around the different towns here looking for it. I see. Okay. So I no, I think it, I think it's fine. You know, we don't get paid a lot of money, but you know, I think you know if, if we had to, you know, go across Saint Denis and well, like Jack Jack had to go and help him out at Sisica last night. Say we help. Say we pop down to this hall. Yeah. Now, I would recommend that if we're doing that, we meet in the middle where we get down there and you get straight to business. No, uh, no, no small talk. Yeah, I know. I just want to see the blacksmith. That's all. Straight in. Yo, howdy. How you going? Good. Yeah. Business. Yeah. Farewell. Yeah. Where is yeah, it? No, a Caliga Hall blacksmith. It's just next to it. On the, on the river. Near, near where? Kaliga Hall. Oh, they got good food at Kaliga Hall as well. Good food, you say? Yeah, 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 yeah. So I'd take some money. With Where you on the map is there. it? Uh. Where? Which way from the ranch? Sam. Yeah, 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 down, yeah, yeah, southeast. That's between roads and Saint Denis. Yeah, it's fine though. It's where the blacksmith That's is. That's not just past the road ranch. Oh, it's about thirty oh. seconds on my horse. Okay, we'll see what Jack says at Emerald Ranch, but if we go, we gotta be quick, cause then we gotta get back to Blackwater. Yeah, but as I said, they got good food. Jack and I went down there one day when we we're on duty. Oh. All right, well, hurry up, thing. get in there, do your thing. Oh no, who's this? Is that deviant? At it. Is that fucking deviant. Who the fuck's this? <laughs> fucking Todd. I agree, Bard. I'm an amazing sitcom. An incredible sitcom. All right, you're done here, Todd. Uh, yeah. Ah, oh, let's head to the ranch. Just past Emerald Ranch. So we'll keep it in practice. Like, say in towns and on bridges, we, we see people coming or we suspect people may come. We go single file. Oh. Hey. Yo. How do we find out how much to find people? Uh. Well, I used to know. Yeah, I know. It all changed. But now I'm not sure. Yeah, exactly. I was just thinking about it. I'm like, 
or how long to send someone away for or where, how much to give them community service i don't know anymore yeah well okay well that's good we got this meeting tonight so keep a note of that and bring it up oh oh yeah and if we see our marshal tonight we have to get our money for our security detail you're absolutely right that's right we were told we get paid like on top of our wage for that yeah so i'd like to bet 200 dollars for that oh i think that might be too much i can make that in the mines like a hundred maybe yeah oh, it'd still be okay i can buy a shotgun oh yeah the shotgun would uh, be nice. i want to use that money to buy a gun you know what's wrong with your current guns what my carbine repeater yeah what's wrong with that my reinforced lasso what, what's wrong with that i don't know i want someone with a bit more power but we have the power of law on our side yeah well I, when i shot my chicken's friend the other day I shoot him like five times was he wearing like armor or something i don't know but and then then i bought the reinforced lasso because i got sick of him breaking out of my lasso well look with a name like mcchicken the image mm -hmm. that comes to mind is a fella that was born and raised on a farm uh -huh. with with parents and cousins and uncles and aunties and grandparents that have all lived on this farm and haven't ventured off this farm if you catch my drift uh -huh. so maybe just a bit too stupid to feel pain well his mcchicken wore uh, a metal hat and he said it was his power armor because he was going for volt tech yeah his sister is definitely his mother yeah exactly <laughs> it made no sense to me <laughs> I don't know. Was that his first and last name, Mick Chicken? Uh, I, 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 I don't know. It was just the name I got from him. What a silly name. Well, when I looked at what his name was, uh, when I looked at him, it said Mick Chicken. That's very odd. So I just called him Mick Chicken. He called himself something else. I imagine something you don't want to repeat. Uh, no, I, I can't even remember. I can't repeat what he said, though. I'm not allowed to say those words. No one is. Dear, dear. Yeah, you'd be, chucked out of many, you'd be chucked out of many communities for saying it. Ugh. Hello, Tom Loy. Dinger. Mate. The man with the hat. How you going, mate? Uh, I think it's for all law. Um, I think it's for all law, just to get like a refresher and meet everybody and have a meeting. Uh, okay, I would have called Greg. I was okay. like, yo, Lontre, how hey, you going, man? Dude, wow. yeah, look, the look reset. A, look at Harkness here and his fancy new horse. Doing yeah. patrols with Game Train as Woodman. It's like, so this, is, is it? this is truly an uh, alternate Roadster. dimension. Oh, wow. Howdy, Jack. How you doing? Yeah, good how are you. Oh, not too bad. Just, we've, uh, well, I've nearly, I've nearly hurt a few people on this patrol uh, with on the road. So oh, yes. we're going to try and make a thing in the West that in town and on bridges and dangerous spots that uh we change to a single file on the right side oh, yeah, and idea. then once we're out of that narrow space we go back to the original formation uh because uh, a lady i think was thinking about you know thinking about lady things and she crashed into me outside strawberry and then uh and then uh on, on the bridge between Strawberry and Valentine, we nearly took out some doctors. Whoops. But the good thing is that they were doctors, so if we did crash into them, that they'd be able to get back on their feet quite quick. Uh, that's very true. So, but, yeah, I feel a little silly. Now, happen. Jack, Todd here wants to make oh, a yes. quick stop at, was it Caligula Hall? Yeah. Does that sound okay so. with you? Yeah, it's fine. We go straight yeah, down. Nice food there. Business. Yeah, well, yeah, exactly. Thank you. Yeah. Fucking hell. Yeah, they got real good food down there, Mr. Gibbs. Okay, straight there, straight to business, and then straight back to Blackwater or somewhere else, depending on the time. All right, lead on to this. Like, we, if we had the money, we'd just get the boat across the Blackwater from St. Denis. That's the thing? Oh, it's broken? Oh, so move the dock hand. That's not very kidding? nice. All right, come on now, lead it, lead on. Where's this? Oh, where's oh, this? Okay. Uh, where's this hole that's just past Emerald Ranch? 
just past Emerald Branch. And it's very funny, the, the server reset, where I describe it as like, you've got the, the multiverse, like with Marvel and everything, you've got the multiverse and everything. So, yeah, these are the same, they're the same characters, but they're different versions. So in this universe, Todd and Georgia fellow Lorman, which is, which is so freaking funny. It's a riot. But it's good. He's he's very fun to go on law patrols with. Isn't it? Damn, those law horses are good. Look at him, he's already over on the bridge! I just wanna go, I wanna get the bonding up with my horse. Jack's still there. It is Caligula Hall, right? Wait, no, hold on. I'm getting mix, mix, mixed up in my head. Caligula was a Roman emperor, right? I was thinking he was referring to Caliban from... Um, oh, what's that Shakespeare thing with Caliban? The Tempest. I thought he was, I thought he was referring to Caliban from The Tempest. What happened here? Oh, it's just a deer or something. I thought it was an alligator at first, but it wasn't. That ain't long enough to be an alligator. Baby alligator. Oh, true. <laughs> Baby alligator. Yeah, because I was about to then report that to the East Sheriffs at the uh, Tone Skin and stuff out here. Good call. They don't have buffalo out this way, do they? No, all the buffalo are out our way, and they've got the alligators. That's right. Yeah. They what got the swamp, we got the plains. Yeah, I wonder if they've had any uh, issues with people skinning things. It's, if people could just stop skinning things, that would be nice. Oh. Where are we going now? I I've never know. been to this Caliban Hall. I don't know where I'm going. You've liked it, Squid? I thought it was all right. But I'm, I'm very harsh with film. Frog, when race, what, a horse race? Or are you talking another speedrun race? What are you talking about, mate? You want to get beaten in another speedrun race? <laughs> oh, Crash Bandicoot. Hey, dude, like, if you want to set, like, uh, a date or, like, a month where we'll aim to do it, I could start practicing for Crash Bandicoot 1. That, that works for me. No, dude, I'm still I'm still happy to do Crash a Crash Bandicoot race later this year, 100%. Just not October. Just please, for the love of God, not October. Why you? Who did you say works here? Oh no. October's gonna be fucked. All right, you want to throw? Hey, 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 what's going on here? Uh, what the so hell are you filthy pigs doing on the east? Come and steal your food. I want to ask myself the same thing. Yeah, come on, Todd. Straight to business. Like I said, chop, chop. Oh, well, I had some food. I'm going to go Get talk to the blacksmith. Get filthy brown vest out of here, Todd. Ding it. Calm down. You're lucky I don't go on a murderous rampage, George. That's... No, don't even joke about that. There's not enough crime to go around here. Stop coming and stealing my crime, We're not all right? I didn't want to come here, but Todd Sue's like, oh, I want to go see the blacksmith or something. He just fucking... Is there a blacksmith here? I... Yeah. Apparently in this fucking... What's wrong, digger? This place is mighty fancy for a blacksmith. Where's the blacksmith? I don't know. Todd ran over this way. Oh, ah. Dang it! Get off Jack's horse! 
Ding up. Get up. What are you doing? Sorry about that. How's things been over here? Where the hell did Todd go? We had a uh, an attack from some knights last night. Not knights? Bad. Yeah, knights. Oh, they're like nice, medieval. Are they? I killed two of them. You killed some knights. Uh, yeah, defeated one in a, a sword duel and uh, what? shot the other one's ear off. Shit, you better get Don down to Jerusalem. They'll be hiring. Yeah, they're looking for their brother last night. Yeah, they were looking for what? a dead man. Oh, are these like Knights Templar from days of old? Yeah, they are. I think they're a bit um, special. They know they're on the wrong continent, right? And wrong time period. Well, that's the thing. I, they don't know if the Knights Templar ever did they said start. They said there's a King Reggie or something? There no. ain't been no king here so, since we had the goddamn War of Independence. Well, there's a King of saint Denis apparently. That... I'll fucking come over here off duty and kill him myself. We ain't having no goddamn king. We got a president now. There's the what? King of Saint Denis. That woodman? That woodman said the bloody blacksmith. Right? Oh, I think that's the blacksmith. Is I it? swear I to God, if they're chin wagging about the weather, I'm gonna ask if they've done any crime and arrest them. Well, frog, you want to figure out a month where we want to aim to do Crash Bandicoot? I'll start practicing. Is woodman still renting a horse off the police department? Is that what this is? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Todd, what's the deal? Yeah, he's just checking. Out of pond. Yeah, no, I can probably do that. Okay, all right. Could we? Uh, I've got the tungsten with me right now, so I'm happy to do a trade right now. Yep, yeah, I'll just grab them. Fantastic. See, here's I told you I wasn't all the bullshit coming out here. Are you getting a bloody, uh, what's his name, mate? Uh, almost. I'll, I'll have one more piece to go after this, but yes. Oh, you don't even have all the pieces. Pathetic. Alright, okay. what's your favourite numbers? Yeah, uh, 26. No, I gave up on mine. Oh, look at that, my favourite numbers are 27. Oh, would you look at that? Oh, yeah, great. That's a couple of brothers. Of <laughs> so what, there's a king of Saint Denis that has knights? Yeah, it had three, now it has one and a half. <laughs> and a squire. There we go, easy as that. What's this king's name? I can't remember there you what go. they Thank said. You very much. Um, That's I'll, come by, I'll come by once I get the final bit I need. That's the, potentially uh, King uh, Rodrigo. God, it's I, that, I can't remember. If That's it's, a Spanish name. Could be a Spanish king. We if we don't want a king the, to begin with, the, let alone a damn Mexican is. king. Oh, I'm, I'm just one short on one of those. What if they're from Spain, not yeah, Mexico? I've been to get a hold of the True. Well, no, that's Europe. Oh, okay. We don't I want the, a British king. We don't want a European yeah, yeah, king, I period. Just, I just can't for the life of me get my hands on I, for one, would one. pledge allegiance. Yeah, well, I haven't don't, even actually found it. Don't oh, talk like that. Like you, you know how many of our boys oil. died anyway, um, during the War of Independence? Once I got everyone together and, yeah. More than three. I'll bring the $100 for you as well. That'd be great. Add a bunch of zeros to that. Thank you so much, D. Right, no worries. Oh, so I can't do that. 0. 0. 0.0003 of a man? If if we hadn't have done what we did, we'd all be bound to a king and a bunch of redcoats be coming in and taking everything that's dear to you. We're rare. Uh, wait, aren't we the redcoats now? No, we're the law. Yeah. yeah. Filthy western. What is this? Burnt orange? Brown? What do we describe this that is. as? Hey, at least we don't have stupidly over the top big hats. <laughs> That is a statement piece, Todd. Uh-huh. <laughs> and where'd you steal your horse from? Bought it, mate. How'd you buy it on a sheriff's wage? I, I bought it on a miner's wage. Oh, well, so you just been mining instead of doing your job, hey? <laughs> There's no crime to fight, mate. They're scared of these boys in blue vests. Yeah, well, how many arrests you made over here? 17. Just Seven yesterday. 17? So that's a lot of crime. Mm-hmm. Wow, that's, that's a lot of crime there, George. Well, it's not. It? It's a lot of stopped crime. Oh, it's a lot of crime that's been happening, no? Yeah. Um, just a quick flashback to the day I got robbed and you hid in the shadows until the robbery was over. How? Any progression on that uh, investigation, mate? Uh, <laughs> no, still waiting. All right, yep, just checking. So we hid in the shadows for a good reason, probably. Yeah. What about the one last night where the Eastern Sheriff's got all the evidence for you and just handed it over? What Any evidence? progression on, on Mo Lester? Who the hell is Mo Lester? Uh, not, even, not even up to date on his cases. Pathetic. 
Yeah. Well, I heard uh, someone uh, stole the sheriff station. Stole the sheriff station. <laughs> How do you stole steal the sheriff station? How do you lose your sheriff station? Well, nice you know, sometimes the about. sometimes the doors just don't lock in that place. And yeah, someone the stole it. Are cheap. Just walk, walked straight into it and said it was theirs. You got some nails. Yeah. Mine, mine, no. mine. You my, horse, my horse is playing the marshal's house. So. Or do you want us to come over and uh, add some hinges or something? Yeah, you want to swing by Saint Denis and see the life of luxury we live? Not really. Not we're really. Gonna go, we're gonna go to New Austin now, anyway. Oh, isn't that at eight, 8, 8 p.m.? Yeah, by the time we get there, it's gonna take. Yeah, us speaking to of, we should probably head to Blackwater now. Yeah, 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 exactly. I came and did my thing. Now you're just dilly dallying, George. D Dinger here is distracting us. Dinner just you know, wanted a nice weird, chat, yeah. didn't you? Uh, yeah, just, I think I'm also going to head down there, but I'll you oh, go to the department and see if everyone's there. Oh, okay. You want to hang out with your blue friends, hey? Eh? I just yeah. want to hang out with competent sheriff. Are you coming to oh, Armadillo, Dinger? Sheriff. Yeah, I'm just going to swing back to the department and see if anyone else is on duty. Okay, to go well, down feel there. free to meet us in Blackwater uh, very soon, and we can all head down together. Roger, 10 4. Oh, wait, we gotta wait for the blue team now? Oh, look, it's just a nice gesture, but come on, we gotta get to Blackwater. Yeah. G'day, Moldy, thank you for the follow. It's, um. It's going. It's going well so far, just doing some Red Dead RP. Uh, we've got Lord Department training tonight. Which should be fun. I hope. I'm gonna talk to the marshal. Oh, get this, boys. Get this. Okay, so I was just talking, awesome. that, just talking to that blacksmith then about getting my pick made. Yeah. Right, so the guy that at Strawberry quoted me $500 for the crab. Yeah. He quoted me $100. Oh, I can help. Yeah. So it's worth That's making the trip. Table. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah. So I've got one more piece now, and then I can get it made. Yeah, very nice. Oh, amazing then game. You can help the Love the single player. What I didn't mind online, but doing Sheriff playing on these modified, uh, why would I playing on these modified RP paid. servers is great. I play I'm on uh, in a gun store. this is Diablo RP, which is an yeah, Australian-based server. What do you mean? Now you gonna get the money to Mister? It's good. It's a good time. I would recommend yep. anyone that's a Red Dead fan give it a go if you got a yeah, if you got, got it on I got PC. Like two thousand dollars sitting there ready to give to him. Oh, very nice. Uh, so it's gonna be like an investment, so we can buy the store. Oh yeah. What store are you buying? No, no, I can't, I can't buy it, um, but I've got a deal worked out with Mr. Walter Gold. Oh, so you're going to be like an investor? Yeah. Oh, oh good on you, supporting the, uh, yeah. supporting the, uh, well, the I'd little, him, little people. I'd rather him get the Valentine one than someone else, you know. Oh, I'll try and do this. Oh, I'll yeah? More money. Uh, and then he wants to set up a, a deal for the West Sheriff's Department to make guns for us at a cheaper rate to oh, outfit yeah. us better. Oh! Oh, that sounds, uh, that sounds yeah. real good. Yeah, exactly. Who the hell is that just saying to me? Oh, are you streaming on PS5? Nice. I first played Xbox through the game on my Xbox, which is good. Card. Yep. But yeah, you can only do the RP well, servers we, we on PC because you got to have... you got to download Red M because it's all modified. Oh, very nice. It, but it that might change with the next GTA on. because... Rockstar oh, have acquired. Um, well, Miss Amanda seems to think it was have four, acquired the services said, that provide I it'd be worth the roleplay service like, well, maybe service for GTA and, and Red Dead, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, I know. So it might be more accessible to more people in the future with the next titles in each series. He's a witch, dude. Which would be nice. Hey, he's a witch. What do you mean he's a witch? They appeared in fire today in front of everyone. How? We did a chant, we did some weird chanting circle with Mr. Um, Sage, and he appeared out of nowhere. Huh. I would have shot him. In a big pool of fire. Wow, who was Ooh. the witch operating on? No idea, he just Like, I understand the, the like oh, console okay. servers may not be as yeah, crazy as eventually. PC servers, but if they could just yeah. create, like, basic well, RP service for console tonight, players, then hey? at least they can who knows what's going experience on? it too. I, hey, I George, have you gotten any alerts in like the last two days? Well, no, but we've been we've been outside our jurisdiction, so maybe we haven't gotten any. No, even inside our jurisdiction, I haven't gotten alerts. No, they're broken. Yeah, they're broken. I keep I keep hearing from locals stuff like a crime has been witnessed. Oh, yeah, no, that's for uh, that's for Pinky Pinkertons. boys. Pinkertons? 
Yeah. That's detective shit. What are we supposed to do about that? Uh, <laughs> smile and wave. Ah, oh, well, at least we get paid. Very true. They talked about about the pay. Put it up a bit. Oh, we should be getting paid more. Yeah, Wes East gets paid more. What? What the hell? There's twice as many of them. Yeah, I know. Oh, that's that's bullshit. That ledger will disappear faster. Yeah, but they're getting paid more. And there's twice as many of them. Yeah, I know. Should be the opposite. We should be getting paid more because there's half of us. Yeah, I know. Like, this, no, is, the on. this is the our entire department. Yeah, well, know, really for now. There might be more after tonight. Yeah. What? Who? Well, it, there will, be, will there be recruits at this training? Uh, unless not they, this one. Unless they all want to go east. Uh, well, oh, we no, got to convince don't. them that west is the best. Uh, I think they're actually going to send a lot of people west now. Student numbers. The Pegasus glitch. Secondary mm. ten sheriffs on it. No. Was well, that like a flying horse? And oh my god, imagine that. Pretty sure a lot of those sheriffs once the pay runs out, they'll just leave. What do you mean? <laughs> I'm a sheriff's like work for free. Oh no, I'm just That'd be cool. Again. Yeah, but you can still be on duty, just that's how you get your pay. It's mine. Yeah. You do crime. And you're stop gonna, crime. You're gonna do crime. And stop crime. Oh, okay. You're gonna do crime on the east though. Who do? Okay. The, the sheriffs. Speaking yeah, of. Yeah, so not sheriffs on the east. Pegasus. Oh, Pegas we're allowed to do crime over there. Pegasus. Yeah, but we're Hey, gonna George, call them do you wanna go rub, rub the St. Denis Bank? Not particularly. Okay. That would be illegal, Todd. If we got caught. I, I can't sleep knowing I did that. But, you know, it's the other jurisdiction, so. You could always rob Digger for his hat. Oh, yeah, we could rob Digger for his hat. Okay, now that now you've got my attention. Hey, do we all want to wear really big, obnoxious hats in this training today? <sighs> nah. Oh, nah, well, it's tempting. It's oh. tempting, but I, I will not not on this occasion, personally. Oh, okay. It would be funny, but he seems like he's on a little he's a little stressed at the moment. Who? A dinger. What do you mean he seems stressed? Well, he, he just seemed a little agitated. Oh, really? Because he just sh showed off his horse. But oh. then he saw my horse got jealous. He got jealous of your horse? Well, it's a real horse. Is yours worth more money? No, mine just looks better. Oh. Why didn't you get a red one? Because I don't want a fucking white horse. Oh. Yeah, white horse is easy to see. That's why you can't see us easy. Oh, okay. Oh, well, you like, want a white horse? Oh, it looks nice. Yeah, no, but still, round here you want a dark color horse. White I horse is a, almost like I'll, showing off. I want a red horse. Oh, this is this a nice color horse, red and black. What about a midnight blue? <laughs> you can do that if you want. Like a cobalt yep. color. Yeah, you can do that if you want. What's this midnight blue? You got a bluey grey horse. That's so fancy. Were you a tailor in a past life, Todd? Uh, I was a hunter. A hunter? Like, oh, please, sir. Now we have the midnight blue on special. Very I fancy. Worked, I worked for the man. At least we can get the Winchesters out for this. Oh, we're allowed to have Winchesters today. We should be able to. Oh, yeah. I was going to buy an Evans, I think. Use that for now. Yeah. Made a Henry, that's the word. Hey, good things. Yeah, they're a good rifle. Yeah, you know, in a dream once, I was in a gang called the Henry Gang. The Henry Gang? That's right. We we're, were called the Henry Gang because our, our boss uh, sold us all Henrys back in the day. 
<laughs> right? And that's, oh, where yes. we got, that's where we got the name from. You weren't probably assholes either. <laughs> Do you want me to show you something really cool? Oh, yes. No! 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 Oh, God, no, please. Oh, no, please, Todd. Todd, we don't have the time. No, pl no, Todd, no! No! Stop! <laughs> I locked the door. <laughs> it, it locked the door, I can't get in anymore. Hey Ames, you home? Okay, anyway. Is he in there? There, there? there goes that button. Good! We don't need that just before a training session down in Armadillo. Yeah, oh, you gotta get a Winchester out as well? Why are we getting Winchesters out? Because we're allowed to. I, I guess. Oh, that, that's real time. Why can't I grab a Winchester? I don't know. Yeah. Look at that. Look at that, Mr. Harkness. Look good. Yeah, I can't. It says I can't carry. I can't carry any more weapons. I can't, what, what? I can't withdraw one. Oh, that's unfair. You had your carbine repeater with you when you got it, didn't you? Yeah. Why can't I? Oh, I think I saw a bowman before. I think I did. How many do you want, Rando? <laughs> Hello? How you going? Good, thank you. What's your name? Elderly. Elderly. Hello, El. I'm Todd. Oh, what you up to there, El? Kenzie? Oh, okay. Kenzie, hey? Oh, okay. Okay. Does he live around here or something? So I can't... He's a sheriff? Is he one of the e eastern sheriffs? Oh, okay, you're right, yeah. Because I was about to say, our entire west apartment's here and we don't know, uh, no, no Macca. Do you like to go by the name Maka? Uh, no. I'm here for the recruitment, but I'm just waiting for Miss Letty and Mackenzie. Oh, okay. Can we call him Maka? He won't mind. Maka? Uh, I'm not sure. Or, or, or Big Mac? Can we call him Big Mac? Oh. Oh. I can't get one either. Oh, okay. All right. No problem. Oh, so you're coming down to the training tonight? Down at Armadillo? Oh, yeah, we're all going down there, too, so you'll be able to ride along with us. Oh, this is Harkness. Harkness is L.
Western sissies, we're here. Yo, what up, pussy boys? Up against the wall. Excuse Excuse me, me, everybody. Everybody. Hello. Hello. Hello, Mr. Hello, sweaty. How you doing? Hello, Hello. sir. Are uh, you doing a public rat. disturbance? Hello, yes, sir. Hi, Jim. We met That's a long time ago. Get. I haven't seen we you for did. a long time. I, I haven't been around. Oh, well, it's nice to see you again. Hello, Mr. Hughes. Hey, howdy, partner. Howdy, howdy. Uh, excuse me. Are you okay? What happened oh, over here? Oh, it's kicked it. Right, there. Uh, uh. The horse might uh, kick again. Be careful, Mr. Mac. <laughs> Mr. Woodman, are you Hello. okay? Sorry, I'm just a bit shocked by the rest in uh, Tom Fool, are we? Oh. Mackenzie Matt. How are you doing this evening, Mr. Hughes? I've been all right. We, we, oh, we, bad. we haven't had much trouble. How about yourself, Jeb? Oh, same, same, same. We've had a little bit here and there, but nothing uh, major yet. Jeb, did I hear that you had dinner with a lady recently? I've had, I've had two dates with the lady, Mr. Hughes. One lady or two ladies? No, just the one. Oh, uh, that's very nice. Miss, uh, Miss... Lily Summers, her hair's like sunshine and she smells like lilies. Oh, that's, that's, I'm very happy for you, Jeb. That's very nice. Oh. And you know what, Mr. Hughes? Yeah. This Thursday coming, we're going out again. Oh, Hello, man. I hope it goes well, Jeb. Howdy. Me too. Hey, Me too. I get nervous every time. Yes, but no, that's a good out. thing. Nice Means you care. What's yours? Oh, uh, wow. Elodie. Thank you. Elodie. Matt. Wow, what a beautiful okay. name. Thank you very much. <laughs> Shall we all head on down, gentlemen? I, I reckon so. If we want them to get there on time, we should probably leave now. Okay. Right, oh, let me just, oh, yes, just Dinger, to... you may jump on the no, back I, of my horse. I'm riding my own horse. Just one hey, do, don't you have your own stupid horse? Uh, you have so to much, come with me. Yeah, I heard so much me. about oh. little recruit. So I just need to see it for myself. Oh, okay. Yes, All right. Jeez. Would you like uh, me to drive uh, Miss Lenny or you? <laughs> oh, oh, okay. Oh. oh. Sorry, Miss Harkness. One sec. I'll get it. Oh, wow. Oh, but that was very silly. Letty said I have... Letty, I'll, I'll oh get my, my horse. Miss Letty, if you want. Oh, okay. oh, here. oh, your horse is there. Oh, stupid house. Okay. How about that's my, that's my I horse calm this horse down? That's a stupid house. Why didn't they angle crazy? it to yeah. be adjacent yeah. with the road? Okay. Everybody stay calm. Can you horses. spell adjacent for me? Uh, A-J-A-S-O-N. Okay. Here we go. I don't like Jason. Where right. all the marshals live? All right, West Department, let's uh, fall in behind uh, the horse chef Le Lewis is on. Yeah. Okay. We're heading to Armadillo, is that right? Yep. Oh, Yeehaw. watch yourself, Mr. Woodman. What, uh, Woodman, you want to settle down, okay? Hello, everybody. Yeah, I think this is not actually how to scrub. You won't get trained as recruits tonight, you'll just be able to join us. I understand it. I spent a spine for a couple of days. It should be good for everybody anyway. Where's, uh... Where's the sheriff? Bowman. I'm probably stuck on the train. He might already busy. be there if he's not... Yeah, on the train, I harder said. God, that man has red hair. Careful, sir! Oh, there's so many. Or is this busy? Oh shit! Todd, Hogness, we should probably go off duty. Why? No. Out of our jurisdiction, it won't be counted, right? No, we'll still get paid. Oh, I don't know. If they I put in the line, it'll probably just take you off duty. Exactly. No, no, okay. Back. Hey, Jeb, is it true you're like the uh, man about town at the moment? You know, lover boy, lover boy Jeb goes on the dates with the ladies. Well, I've only been on dates with one lady. But... Oh, see, we heard the rumor over here that being on like four dates with five different ladies. Hey. Why, you had two ladies on one date, didn't you? I would, man. Uh, you know, need to get jealous just because Jebby got the bigger hanger down. Hey, you know hey, what I'm hey, we, we, we've all heard about the, that part of Jeb as well over here. Trust me. Oh my lord! Oh my lord! He got the uh, got the strong noodle. They called it back in the Greek. <laughs> yeah. 
I'm talking to town. Don't forget your Ryan voices, everybody. Is that you, Frank? It is. Howdy, Frank. Oh, with five women. Nice to see you, Frank. Oh. All day, Frank. Are you? How did the date go? Uh, they went both went really well. Uh, what the hell? Careful, everybody. Keep people at the front. Keep behind the, the horse on point. Fast horses first? No, slow horses first, I meant. Uh, you put the slow horse at the front. So well, everybody funny thing is, thing my horse will beat you hey, at the Jeff, moment. How was your day by? And you have one person on the fastest horse to block the roads. Oh, dang it. As a this road captain. Fun. You have a road captain that blocks the other roads so nobody gets in the way. Oh my god. Oh my god. Hard. Come on, fellas. Sit. Calm down. We stop for a second. Let's go. We just pulled ahead. It's this thing on his tummy full, right? Eh? So a slow horse is as fast as his horse. Bastard. What kind of See you get horse from here. I live in the mines now. Oh, you live in there? Yeah. I just hit rocks over there. Oh. When you're not sheriff, you mean? Correct. Yeah, so, it makes, so it makes lots of money, but anybody will get a date. Oh, what are you going to spend all your money on? I've got an investment I'm going into. Oh, okay. So that should be good. Yeah, that's good. I'm glad to hear it. My horse is good. What's that? My new horse is good. A new horse? Yeah. Yeah, this one. Oh, oh, my yeah, one. Yeah, I did notice that. What sort of horse is it? Uh, Roadster. Oh, wow. It's a red, red and black. Yeah, it looks great, actually. I noticed it. Yeah. Cool. Yo, Tiger. Yeah, white stands out a bit too much. Oh, well, like it's been, the, um. Uh, fuck's sake. Oh, my God. It's been pretty chill yeah, tonight, yeah. but we've got Lord Train in in a sec. Well. Yeah. Which should be good, how you going? I don't know, that's weird. What the heck, what you talking about? Have you got any like drug deal reports in your area at all? Fury Emerald 
In fear, I reckon that what they should have done was made Valentine a central point. Yeah, true, true, like where mm -hmm. the crossover happens. Yeah. Yeah. That'd be a better good idea. old gather there all the time. And then had Valentine and like every branch was everyone's jurisdiction as well. Mm -hmm. But what would we know? We're only fucking, we're only sheriffs. Okay. Uh, it is, so I can beat you in a race. Mm. Fucking slow ass horse you got there, dude. <laughs> Yeah, mine, mine's trained. <laughs> Another train. Ooh. Uh, so there's no baths down here if we get dirty, by the way. Oh, no. Oh, wait, I'm already dirty, apparently. You'll live. Yeah, it'll be right. Us Eastern Shadows don't worry about a bit of dirt. Called a trough. Who's, uh, hello, sir. I don't think we've met. Ooh, my name's Wilhelm Klink. I'm one of the new recruits. Ah. Hello. Nice to meet you. I'm Jebediah Cross, and uh, nice you can call Jeb. me Jeb. From it's the East District. Just I'm just also in charge of your your internal face. affairs over there. Oh, uh, if you need anything, Ooh. you let me know, alright? Are you having an affair, mm -hmm. Jeb? I said internal <laughs> affairs, Mr. Woodman. Please Ooh. stop getting oh. involved in my love life. <laughs> Sorry. Woodman, you want to be given the rough housing if it's oh, sitting yes, down. Oh, yes, nice to meet you, fellas. Okay. Hey, Letty, I think nice Jeb's having an affair. How did you say your name again? Oh, Jesus. Woodman. Wilhelm Clink. <laughs> Most people get just call me Clink. I like, hey, your, I like your light there, uh, Big Mac. Nice to meet you. Yep. When did you, you uh, so start up as a recruit? Pleasant. Oh, just yesterday, I think. Oh, oh very nice. Very fresh. Yes. Right. Oh. for the training, are you? I am indeed. Oh, well, we've got a couple of these coming, Frank. What was that, sorry? Yeah, yeah I think I'll put on a suit oh. later on. <laughs> and if it is you right? Oh boy. Well, I could be west at the moment. I don't want to talk about it. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, I believe that is where I apply for. Are they coming or not? Yeah, I think that's where they're going to put a lot of people at the moment if they apply for the east. Yeah, yeah, where, where, where's Lou? You'll make this like three sheriffs. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, you are unfortunately a bit light on. That is sad. Yeah. But it happens. Yeah, true, true. But one thing, if you ever lose Digger in St. Denise, you can just look for his hat. Well, that's true. Very true. Not big enough. And he's a big fella, too, so it kind of stands out. Yeah, it does. Hmm. Oh, uh, that's, uh... Oh. Hello, Miss Grayson. Are we going to head down uh, to Tumbleweed? Fe fellas, I, I know, just realised this is not Tumbleweed. No, oh, yeah, no, no shit, point. Dinger. Uh, yeah, baby, read the telegrams, it's here. Yeah, Dinger, Which telegrams. Read. The original oh, one I'm, says. I'm access to this. Which telegram? Read, read the updated There's one. There's a new one. Oh yeah, right. All right. Sorry, I was reading the original. Maybe we should all just live here and call this sheriff town. You're on your own. No wrong with this place. It's a little. Yeah. See how fucking long it took us to get here? Oh, what's well, cool? You got a horse for a reason. Yeah, or you can yeah, ride quickly from St. Anita Roads. It's called. Yeah, well, <laughs> you should can run that distance. Yeah, it's a stone throw away. You must have big arms to throw a stone this far. Get him out. You know what they say? Yeah, roads to St. Denise. Show yeah. me the arms, George. Okay. I ain't getting out my arms. You're not, a, uh, you're not allowed to carry long arms. Hey, uh, your new recruits uh, naked there, lady. What you mean? Part of the East Lord jurisdiction. Oh, why are you naked? I'm not the naked. He asked me to show his arms and he outranked me. Oh, I see. I see. Okay. Aren't we the same rank? What? Oh, I thought it was this man here. You look important. I asked George to show me his arms and... I ain't showing you my arms. Okay, Respect. that's slightly creepy. Nothing wrong with wanting to see a man's arms, alright? Okay, what time did party start? I don't want the people Seven minutes. Okay. Just in time for a smoke off. So, uh, who's patrolling while we're all down here? Me. No one. Nobody, uh, mate. You're off duty, right? Correct. Anyone want to check that from the west when they get back? 
Let's pop your head. Has everybody met my friend LOD? Yeah. I met LOD. Wow, what a beautiful name. You'd like to introduce yourselves? Thank you, Woody. sir, with the big hat. You also got the new recruit here, this man here. Yes. Yeah, what was your name again, sorry? Wilhelm Klink. Wilhelm. Wilhelm. People call me Klink. Mr. Klink. Klinks? Yeah. Yes, sir. Just, just oh, two what recruits. Is? I wonder if any more are coming. I don't know. I may have not decided to come because it's cancelled. Yeah. I noticed that the uh, the announcement going the wrong channel for them. That's yeah, a shame, Mark. I just won't be here. So what? Uh, what? Uh, great to be here. I haven't tumbled weed since the 70s. Oh. 70s. Just a quick joke. No one? <laughs> Thank you very much. Clixie? <laughs> I thought quite all right. What's your name, fellow? Mackenzie. Nice to meet you, Mackenzie. Longhorn. Mackenzie Longhorn. Long by name, horn by nature. Uh, you, you actually look like a short horn to me. Work up to yourself, Mr. Woodward. We set it down on a day. Don't do with that to me, please. I got the small panty. Oh, he's doing it again. God damn oh, it, oh, What the heck? Yeah, he does this shit all the time. I've never hoped a man shoots his own foot so much in my life. Yeah. Well, who that? Not sure. You don't know if we're meeting. Are we meeting at the, the sheriff's department here or the saloon or anybody know? I don't know. Harkness is just doing gun tricks, so I, I think we like meet I, here. I feel like I need to give him money now. Very bro. I could have this in front of the gun store when it was happening. Yeah. Look at this. It's like a busker or something. He might make more than that than on a sheriff's wage. Um. I got a feeling that we should be in Tumbleweed. Yeah, that's what I'll stop. Yeah. Are we in the Change it again. Fucking hell. So they first say Armadillo, oh, now they say Tumbleweed again. Oh, really? <laughs> oh, no. Where's me damn horse? You're so stupid. Typical marshals. I better let you know, oh dear, very pretty late. It was Farquhar McHugh. Yeah, that's typical marshals. Is everyone always, with us? Always changing and not paying us. God, I'm gonna ride like the wind. Be nice if the marshals paid us. The tumbleweed! I have already asked, they've told us to piss off. They just said talk to a different marshal. Gabriel probably said the same to you. Gabe likes your sheriff, not all you guys.
Kenneth has uh, other commitments. Oh, like what? Doing crime? Like uh, higher education. Everybody in the line in front of us, please. Duh. Oh, no. It's in my office when I get back. It's getting under the bullet in the head. Welcome, everybody. Is this everyone? Todd, Sorry. get over here. I don't know if anyone else is coming or not. No, Lou said get in two well, lines. Well, should be coming. Make it easy. Yeah, your first two... test, your first test is to line up. Exactly. Yeah, I lined up with you. I'm trying my hardest, okay? Welcome, everybody. Training. Yep. For those that don't know, my name is Detective Lieutenant. I uh, am part of the uh, Pinkerton's agency. Mr. Wolf sends his regards. He cannot make it tonight. So tonight I'll be conducting training with Mr. Miles on the right of me. He's also one of the rangers. Mr. Miles, if you want to introduce yourself. Hello everyone, yeah. So no people who haven't met me yet. My name is uh, Clavigus Miles or Ranger Miles. Uh, pleasure to meet you all. Uh, pleasure to be here. Uh, looking forward to it. Perfect. Well, after me, you all know Mr. Wyatt Ames. Mr. Wyatt Ames. Howdy all, even. How are we? Oh, and to the left of him is Ms. Dolores. Ms. Dolores is the head doctor. She will be helping you guys with first aid training tonight. Evening and all. Accompanying her is Mr. Williams. Williams, sorry, the, uh, the recruit doctor. So make them feel welcome. Please listen to everything that any of us have to say tonight because it is very crucial that you do learn. Um, please step back if you are a part of the department already. Okay, we have three new people wanting to join us. Uh, howdy, sir. What's your name? Mr. Wilhelm Klink. Nice to meet you, Mr. Klink. Your name? Uh, my name is Cadus Ossark, sir. Nice to meet you, Cadus. Cadus. Sorry, Cadus. Sorry. Your name is... Sorry, what was that? Elodie. So. Elodie. Nice to meet you. All right, let's make Security. the new recruits feel welcome. Okay. All right, all right, tie them up. No, Mr. Woodman. We'll tie you up in a minute, Woodman. All right. Lou likes being tied up, I hear. Shut up, Woodman. Yeah, everybody get back into line, please. All right. To begin things off, how are you all finding the uh, law department so far? Like how how's the uh, how's it been for you guys so far? We need locks. We need money. Locks. I like it. You like it, enjoying it. Yeah, it's been good. We just need door locks at work. Yeah, okay. Marshall. Oh, and Hughes couldn't get his hands on a Winchester. Yeah, the gun okay. rack's a bit sticky. Yeah, yeah that's like us taking guns. Fair oh, enough. Marshall. It's been great, though. Yep. Have you guys had any, like, bank robberies or, you know, general nope. store robberies lately? Nope. Oh, yeah. They, they, they all keep happening down here. Down here? Yes. Okay. Well, we'll get things started with, okay, life. 
What's the one thing about life that we all must uh You all die agree eventually. On? We all do die eventually, but as yes, a sir. department. It's precious. Yep. Health is wealth, sir. Health is wealth. Sometimes, yes, but as law department, we should all be valuing life. Okay. Hey, shooting's last resort. Shooting. Well, killing someone's last resort. Definitely a last resort. As lawmen, you all should be valuing everybody's life, okay? While stopping crime. Now, if you're in a bank robbery, general store robbery, and you know, you're not looking after your hostage inside. Uh, and you make them feel, you know, you make them feel that their life is less important. Those people are never going to trust the department again. Okay. Even yourselves, you all should want to live long, happy lives. Okay. Value your life, value everybody's life. You know, life is important. All right. Just like I said, you need you need we need the community to think that they can put their trust in us. Well, and that uh this when it's sitting behind this little desk. You know, they can they can count on us to get them out of any sticky situation. Whether someone puts a gun to their head or any sort any sort of weaponry. Anyone else have anything on that topic? Do you, do you value your desk's life, Luke? I don't know. Mr. Ames, Mr. Miles. Not too much. I think you nailed most of that on the on the head there. Mr. Ames. Also, hey, Battle on Tango. All things uh, once the training keeps going on. Sounds good. Once we get onto the practical aspects. Now, my next point is the law should always win most of the times. Okay, now when you're doing bank robberies, when you're tending to bank robberies, general store robberies, or any sort of hostage negotiation situation, I want you to observe everything. Take a look at your surroundings. Take a look at the people inside. Observe their guns, their hair, their horses, the decorations on the horse, any minor detail that you see on this on that situation report it with those with that information that you have i want you all to put it onto a note and i want you to come down to the pinkerton's office and give us the notes that you have let us help you find the people that you are looking for so we can put these people behind bars okay attention to detail is everything like, notice what color, what color wrap they have, what engraving they have on the weapon. Usually, people just <laughs> don't change it. No, Pay no. attention to it. Pay I just attention. Wanted to tell you something after this too. That's fine. That's fine. Oh yes, yeah, same. Maybe um, let him finish talking, boys. Yeah. Observation is everything. Okay. Now, as lawmans, as lawmen, okay. If you all have a badge, you all have a salary. Now, as lawmen, we should all be supporting our local businesses. Okay? Put money back into the community. Help local businesses. Help them grow. Just as the community helps us grow. Next thing. If you are going on patrol solo, what should you expect? Uh, Intimidation trouble. techniques from uh, the criminals. One. Anything else? Trouble. Trouble, yep. Always yeah. expect to be robbed. So okay? I carry crap. So don't go out by yourselves, okay? Try and stay in a group. I highly recommend that. Okay, you're, you're a lot safer in numbers than going out by yourself. If something happens to you, you know, and nobody knows where you are, that's where things can get wrong. And. Oh, here we go. East side's rocking up late. Shut up, Woodman. 
At least I don't talk out of turn. Okay, now settle yeah, down. Alright. You have to excuse me, this is all uh this is all last minute for me, so you just have to bear with me, say. So. All good. I'll, I'll quickly say something. It's always yeah, gotta remember, no matter what we do, no matter how you act, uh, we're always a target to any little scum criminal that's around the county. The county. So uh, always gotta keep your sights on. Gotta keep uh, your perception clear. Make sure keep all your surroundings open. Always look around over your shoulder, no matter what you do, no matter what you do. Hundred percent. Now. Who he has a camera? Uh, I do. Beautiful. All lawmen should have a camera. Actually, it oh. should be the advanced one, so it has the zoom Doesn't on. Doesn't matter. Any sort of camera at all. all right, I want then. to see everybody with a camera. Why do I want to see everybody with a camera? Someone Take tell photos. me. For evidence. For evidence, yep. Yeah. Take photos of bank robbers if you buy yourself so they don't see you. That camera is your best friend. I don't care if Tom and Jane down the road are your best friends. Not today. While you're on duty, that camera is your best friend. Now, if you see a crime and you don't think you can stop it, you, go, you get yourself to a safe spot, you get yourself to a window, and you take photos. Why? Because if you can build yourself a case on people doing crime, you might not stop them today, but you will stop them in the future, and you will have a bigger report made against those people, and you can slap them with a higher charge. Okay, so everybody must have a camera. Utilize it when you're writing reports. I want you to take photos of the people who are you who are doing the crime, who you are arresting. If you're doing a negotiation at a bank or a general store, take a photo of the scene, take a photo of the hostages, write their names, take a photo of anything that you can. Remember, any sort of evidence is good evidence, and that's enough to make a bigger case against the people that you are chasing. Uh, remember to click, make your photo 400 by 400. Yeah. Dude, I broke our report book. What the fuck? What the hell does that even mean? Yeah, how, <laughs> how do you do that, Jack? I've Someone done one before. Speak up. Yeah. No, all right. So all the right. last photo I put in there. You better have to fuck do it. me, dude. Cut it. Uh, Haki said make your photo 400 by 400. Though. When you cut it. When you cut it. With the scissors. So we carry the scissors rules now, too. Do I have to measure it? If your photo is too big for the report card, then your photo is going to take up the whole card, ain't it? So you need to cut the photo down to a normal size so it will fit on the report card very nicely. All right. Now, one thing that is very important, you must all be maintaining professionalism. It is one thing that is highly stressed in the department. Okay. We set the standard to the, t uh, to the county. All right, if we are in a town or other people in the town and we draw guns out all the time, everybody draws out guns, okay? So we set the standard to people in this county. So if you're at boxing matches and just randomly shooting people, lassoing people in the streets should also be a last resort, okay? I want you to use your words, talk to people. Seems that people don't use their words back though, Lou. At the end of the day, you're maintaining your professionalism, Woodman. Okay, you're not going to always, you're not going to always get people that are going to agree with you. Okay, um, if people do take their guns out and people do want to start trouble, I'm pretty sure the sheriffs of the east and west have certain protocols that you must do. Okay, that is up to them. But while you're patrolling in towns and attending events, you must remain professionalism. Sorry, professional in your work at all times. I don't care what happens. That is a must, okay? Um, now, when you're in county, 
you're always in county. No one should be talking about dreams they had last night or noises in their head. Why is that? I'll tell you why. Because your marshals and your doctors will lock you up for being insane. Okay? When you're in county, you're always in county. I want to hear about your dreams. I don't want to hear about your noises. I don't want to hear about anything. You're in county, you stay in county. Just have a look at my notes real quick again. All right, the next thing I want you all, do, all to do is foster positive interactions with people. All right, so if someone robbed the general store and, it's, and you think it's definitely them and they have a hell of a story and they want to commit to it, Bring them in, question them, ask them more questions about what, you know, how they got to this point or what led them to the situation that they're telling you, you know, go with the story, try and, you know, make something out of it before just slapping handcuffs on and sit it, sending them into jail and wham, bam, thank you, man. Hi, <laughs> Jumble. Also, right. hey, Jumble. Um, Diamond. That's what we got here. Right so I'm just looking over the notes they've given me. Pay attention. Do you gentlemen have anything you want to say while I'm looking at notes? Uh, <clears throat> I'll just uh, quickly get on one. Back to that reputation subject, you know. I've seen people before, when it was the court case out at Blackwater not long ago, a uh, couple of... Uh, Deputies going around, acting a bit, you know, buffoonery. They'll push each other over and sort of joking around. As Lou said before, it's got to be professional, no matter what you're doing, especially if you're on duty. If you want to be, you know, if you want to muck around, go off duty. You know, it's pretty easy. So, yeah, just keep that, because we need to lead by example. Sure, that was new, Jen. If you see any, you know, civilians going around seeing that, then they're not going to really think too much of the sheriff department. That's all I really got to say right now. Yep. And under maintaining professionalism, just remember, you're not always going to catch the bad guy, okay? That's one thing that people need to get in their heads. You're always not going to catch the bad guy. Don't take it to heart. Don't get angry. Continue with your job as a lawman and just pull through. Move on to the next job. And, uh, let it go. Let it go. Like I said, Take down the notes, build a bigger case, plain and simple. It'll Stays. come back to bottom eventually. Uh, there are times when, you know, if you're the only one or two of you on for a bank robbery, and there's four or five of them uh, holding the bank, you don't have the numbers. So you just, uh, you got to make a decision. What's more important? It comes back to your value and your laugh now. You want to, don't want to try and, you know, jump into that situation try and take it head on because you're going to lose your right gun already but what you can do is you know you can watch from far as we're talking about take photos see who they are and see if you can follow them if they you know there's nothing wrong with following somebody no shooting no guns or something like that and if you can find out where they're heading to afterwards sweet bring it up to the Pinkertons and they can bring it to myself and uh, the marshals will go get a court order and we can uh, once the case is big enough you guys can go raid wherever the hell they've been hiding out now that's uh that's going to be a lot more impact than just uh, stopping them from robbing a general store or bank or holding someone up that makes sense short term you let them think they've won but secretly you're writing reports about them getting as much information as you can so when you do get them the next time, you slap them with so many charges that like they're just confused, and you can send them to a nice holiday down to the concrete prison. Well, concrete we hotel. Mark making uh, horseshoes for your department issued horses. Yep. Uh, also, with your reports, once the reports uh, get happening, while arresting people, this is a very, very important one. 
when you're arresting people, go over previous reports about that person. For example, I've arrested Jack Harkins for selling selling drugs. The fuck, I've, Jack? Okay, I've arrested Jack, and now go over previous reports, see what he has done, okay? See if he has anything outstanding, and charge him with it. Okay? I, thought, I thought we weren't allowed to stack charges like that, Lou. No, I mean, but you can use it to... Yeah. You're not going to stack charges. They've already been if they've been charged yeah. for it already. Oh no! I mean, no, I, if, I mean, if they're uh, no. I don't know for something I'm else that okay. So I'm not saying to stack charges. What I'm saying is that check to see if they have outstanding warrants. If you're arresting them, if Harkins has a warrant for killing five people, and we're just charging him for the, the you know, for the drug sale, you let him go on a on a crime where he's killed five people. Okay, check warrants. Check everything. Don't just like it comes down to leniency yeah. so if they've got a history of doing dumb shit and you're not gonna let them off with a warning or a fine or something like that if they're continuing their bad behavior they're not reforming you're gonna just uh you know straight away again it's up to the sheriffs how they want to uh do things but if they're doing the same shit every single time they're not learning with fines cisco hard labor whatever Dude, you just need to if you keep doing the same thing every time they're not gonna uh not gonna learn they're just gonna keep doing it it's going to be like a slap on my wrist. So Exactly. Um, anything else from you, Mr. Ames or Mr. Mars? No, I think we've done enough talking. It's time to get some yep. things done, I think. Uh, get run through some drills. And, uh, I think God, the, I wish I had the doctors more water. Uh, need to take it, people through things. It's the general store, if you need more water as well. Yeah. Uh, if you have coats and hats, take them off. Maybe it is uh, it is quite hot here. It will help out a bit. And uh, you can think about sleeves too to roll up your sleeves if you're hot. God damn this fucking. Um, all right, so we will go through some drills with you, but in the meantime, I'd like to ask Miss Dolores to do her training. Maybe just you know, get her sorted out. Um, yeah, absolutely. So everyone. I want you to listen to Miss Dolores. Don't talk out of turn. Show her some respect, please. Okay, just making sure that everyone can hear me. Yep. yep. All right, great. So there's a couple of things with first aid training that I want to make sure that we all understand because it's important that we have a standardised way of being able to look after patients uh, because often enough sometimes when uh, we don't have the proper training we can do things that actually can exasperate the injuries and can cause additional harm. And sometimes uh, when we do things that are, are not correct uh, we can cause a patient to die and that's what we don't want. So very important that the right first aid is applied uh, whilst we wait for a, a doctor to show up to, a, uh, to the site. So rendering first aid is pretty easy steps to remember. Uh, first things first, is the patient responsive or not? Uh, sometimes you don't always know what has happened to the patient. So checking to see if they're uh, responsive or not and able to talk to you to tell you what happened. If not, then you want to make sure that you put them into what we call a recovery position and make sure that their airways are not blocked. So the recovery position is uh, putting the back of the other hand onto the cheek closest to you and holding it there bend their far knee and grasp for the far leg and roll them onto their side. And then also check their airways. Now it will require for you. Yep. Thank you. Thank you, Lou. No problem. You will require you to reach into their mouth and just make sure that their airway is not obstructed by their tongue. You can do this on patients with non-serious injuries. Obviously, if someone's suffering a gunshot wound to their chest, you're not going to roll them onto their recovery position. But this is a good way to look after a patient who might be passed out, uh, might be concussed, uh, so non-life-threatening injuries. Uh, obviously, it's going to be pretty obvious to you when you can and can't do that. So you also want to keep the patient calm and you also want to alert a doctor. So when you're alerting a doctor, we please uh, request that you put a specific format in for us. So always in your message, mention that it's law, mention what the injury is, if it's, if it's known, and mention to us if the site is okay to approach. So for instance, law, two GSW patients, site is, site is safe to approach. 
Uh, doctors are trained to not engage in a hostile situation and we would really appreciate it if Law let us know if the, uh, the call out is to a hostile situation. Everyone happy with the acronym GWS? Very happy. Uh, gun wound shot. Gun shot wound GSW. Yeah, GSW, not GWS. Yeah, GSW. Uh, that one. Sure. Yeah, thank you. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. All right, so get the patient calm if they are uh, awake. Uh, make sure that we try and uh, keep them less agitated. Um, the other thing is applying pressure to wounds. Uh, so we do recommend that, uh, depending on where they've been shot, that you apply pressure to try and stem the blood flow. Uh, in the case of a snake bite, uh, really good to use tourniquets. Uh, apply those to above the bite area. So you can use your belt, for instance. Um, you can use a leather strap, anything that can be tied off on the limb. Uh, to restrict that blood flow and therefore that poison not uh, entering uh, the rest of their system really helps. Cleaning the wound is very important as well. Uh, so I do recommend carrying a little uh, flask of whiskey on you, obviously not to drink whilst you're on duty, but to <laughs> use for patient care. Uh, bacteria and infection are number one killers in the county. Uh, so if you can... Uh, Clean the wound for us, if possible, uh, by using alcohol and a clean cloth. If you don't have that, that's fine. Just try and use some cloth to try and also stem the flow of blood. But the most important thing is that we get the patient calm, we get them in a safe position, we apply pressure to their wounds, and that you've alerted a doctor to turn up. Don't, under any circumstances, try and treat the patient. As I mentioned at the start of the uh, at the start. Often we can do more damage by trying to remove bullets with dirty fingers uh, and doing things that we really shouldn't, that only a medical professional should do. So your job is to make sure that the patient is calm, uh, as uh, ready for the, the doctor to come on site and do the treatment. Any questions? Uh, yeah, I've got one question. Mm -hmm. Should we be carrying like anti-venom with us as well for like first aid as well? I do recommend it. Um, Antivenom is available in all the pharmacies. Um, I'm pleased to say that we actually have a doctor's surgery opened up uh, two days ago in Armadillo. So out here there is uh, plenty of antidote in the uh, pharmacies. Um, so, yeah, I do recommend that. And we are recommending the uh, citizens of the frontier to, uh, if they are out and about, to uh, go grab some antidote and keep it on them at all times. Oh, I've got one more question. Mm -hmm. uh, I've encountered some like really sick people recently. Uh -huh. uh, how do we go about managing them when they're uh, in that state? Okay, so in that state, uh, you want to try and get them as calm as possible and alert a doctor. We have a number of illnesses going around the county. A lot of people are uh, forgetting the general cleanliness and hygiene rules and not bathing regularly and picking up uh, some nasty diseases that are making them quite sick. Uh, the worst I've seen is someone stumbling around with a high fever uh, and unable to get enough fluids into themselves and vomiting. Um, in that instance, we need to get some antibiotics in them after determining what has happened. Uh, so the best thing is to bring them into a pharmacy and alert a doctor. Okay. I have a question over there. Hello, ma'am. Mackenzie from the Eastern. Uh, is any of the diseases, are they contagious at all? Uh, some of them are, so I do recommend oh. uh, most of you have got uh, bandanas or some sort of handkerchief, but you can tie them across your mouth. Back and uh, Yeah, and make sure uh, you're washing your hands all the time. So if you're going around playing in the swamps, go have a bath after. That's common knowledge. Could have had to save your life one day. Oh, cleanliness is very important. Mm -hmm. Especially if you're in Valentine rolling around in the dirt like a pig. Go take a bath. Plain and simple. Sorry, Dolores, on you. That's okay. Any other questions? Oh, yeah, okay. So, you know how you said you're like, tell if the coast is clear, etc. Mm -hmm. You know, what if it's a dire emergency uh, um, and the coast isn't clear? Like, you know, we, we obviously oh, tell you about... Could you speak up, please, sir? Oh, sorry. I was just asking about... Uh, about conflict uh, situations someone's like gravely hurt but the conflict's still going we alert the doctor like uh 
I don't know, like, do you, do you want us to do anything special in that case, or...? Probably the best idea uh, would be to give the doctors a point to rendezvous at that's outside of the area uh, that you're being, let's be honest, engagement area, so if somebody wants to wait for them out there, up at a position, or you just uh, say, you know, wait at this building or this uh, area here, and we'll come get you once the coast is clear and once you've cleared it out, because obviously you need to... It comes to safety of yourselves, you're also gonna if you're calling the doctors in, you're responsible for them, yeah. So you all gotta make a decision what's the best area for them to uh, to meet you at. Okay. Sorry, Dolores. No no, you're perfectly correct there. Alright. Um the other thing I wanna mention is sometimes I know that things get a bit stressful. Uh, the other thing um, that uh, Dr. Schuber and myself are very uh, keen on is making sure that you all get enough uh, de-stressing time. So Schuber and I often disappear out into the uh, wilderness and do hunting trips to try and de-stress. I'd like to extend that invite to the law department. Um, I think sometimes we all get very stressed in our roles and sometimes situations can uh, leave us uh, feeling extremely stressed so it's good to go out and get relaxation and do something that is less stressful and takes your mind off it so if you're feeling stressed at any point about um what you've been experiencing uh please reach out to myself or dr shuba uh we're always available to have a chat okay lou i think uh i think that's it that? yeah all right please listen to what Please listen to what Mr. Lawrence has said. It is vital information, okay? If someone is under your care, including criminals that you are arresting, their life is in your hands, okay? Repeat that. The criminals' lives are in my hands. No one? Can I repeat it? The criminals' lives are in my hands, sir. Thank you, lady. The criminal life in my hands, sir. Yeah. Hey. There we go. Criminals' lives are in my hands. Everybody's lives are in your hands if they are in your care, okay? Look after them. Listen to what Dolores has told you. If you need any more medical training, feel free to go ask Dolores. She will help you, okay? Value of life, plain and simple. Uh, Mr. Ames, have you got anything? No. Nope. Uh, run them through the practical stuff, Lou. Uh, that's All enough right. talking. Now it's time to do some things rather than just stand around. All right, we're going to do a couple of drills right now. Harkness, Hughes. Mm. Frank. Letty, please step forward. Jeez, don't. Okay. With me. Mr. Harkness, I don't need to go. You ladies and gentlemen are going to be my criminals. Ooh. Oh boy. Okay. You're going to go into that general store and you are going to be a criminal. You do the whole, put your hands up, I'm going to run this store, blah, blah, blah. That's what I want you guys to do. Make a noise, you know. Uh, scare them. I want to get the uh, the lower ranks to. See, I want to see how they uh, negotiate. Uh, so get yourselves uh -huh. in that building. Which one is the store? Oh, the one in the corner. This one. All right, who'd like to be what? Oh, what do we get to pick? Okay, well, we could have like a head it's criminal be in hostage. charge. Okay, we can have a hostage, a head criminal in charge, and then. Okay, wait, wait. What, we're all kind of be the hostage? Do you want me to do the talking? I can put on a scary voice. Yeah, you Ooh, can do that, I'd love to hear it. All right, you're the negotiator. You're the one in charge of us. I'm going to fucking slit all their throats if you don't give us a clear berth out of this general stall. Is that all right? Yeah. All right, let's get two hostages. Oh, two crims, or should we get three crims? Uh, mm. What do you think? All right, well. I 
Actually, you know what? Let's get three. I want to see how good they can chase. Alright. I'll cover the bag. Alright, I'll be the tilt person. Okay. Remember, everyone's laugh is in our hands. Alright, I want the recruits to stand over here for me, please. You guys are going to pay attention and keep an eye on what these guys are doing. Yep. Alright, group one is to the left of me, group two is to the right of me. That's us, we're group one. You are group two. Go stand with the recruits. Group one. Yes, Miss Lou. There are people robbing this general store. Okay. Okay. I want you guys to organize how you are going to solve this. I might go. Okay. Who wants to take lead? All right. Three, two, one. Criminals, are you ready? Yeah. We're ready. Perfect. One second. Let me get Mr. Ames here. Okay. Wait a sec. Wait a sec. Well, I don't know if we're going to do. Well, no, it's running on foot. Yeah, exactly. Be careful of this uh, lawman's lazy lawman sitting down here. So. Oh, we're there, sheriff. Organize, organize, yeah. organize how you guys are going to do are. it. Yeah, you gotta get the back door. I'll be running. All right, go. Here we go. Sheriff's department, make yourself known. <laughs> We're gonna open this door, okay? What you want? Hey, I just wanted to see what's going on, guys. What's happening here? What's We're the go? We're just doing some Christmas shopping. Some Christmas shopping, okay? I see you have a hostage there. Yeah, this is this is our son. Sorry, your son? Yeah. Can I speak to him? Say hello, Sonny. Say hi to the nice lady. Hello, mister. Are you okay? Hostage, you good? He's not very much. He's not speaking. Jack! So. Say, say hi to the nice lady. Hey, no, he's point guns now. Yes, yeah, sorry, he's a mute. Okay, well... Has he been fed, watered, perhaps? Sure. Yeah. <laughs> sure. We, we take okay. good care of our boy. Okay, interesting. If there's three of you in there, I can see. At least. All right, well, what's your, what do you want out of this? What's your, you know? Really, you we'd just like to, you know, leave with enough apples and mm -hmm. water and that to, to thoroughly enjoy the Christmas holiday. As a family. As a family. Okay, that's beautiful. I love to hear it. But yeah. you do have one hostage, so what's... No, that's our son. How do you want to get out of this? No, that, that's it's definitely gross. our flesh and blood. Sorry? That's that's our son. <laughs> Sorry, your son who's on his knees with his hands behind his back. Yeah, I told him <laughs> well to buy. Oh, okay. So he's not a hostage? Nope. So you don't have any... Demands that you want he to just has to do everything we say or I'll kill him. Okay, so he's a hostage. <laughs> my dad, my daddy yeah. beat me, and I thought I'd take it once notch further, and I'll, if he misbehaves, I'll stab him. Okay, um, maybe we can get you some help for that, right? If you just want to. No, I just want some apple and water for Christmas. You want some sugary <laughs> teeth, too? <laughs> well, we'll get you that as well. Thank you. Right, well, if you leave us to the shopping now, we'll get it done and we'll be on our way. I'll just be waiting here until you guys come out. Oh! Yeah. Oh, I see! So, Can't yeah. let a man and his family come out for water shopping in peace down in Double Wade. No, sorry. <laughs> That's not really how that works. Well. Well, unless you want me to kill my dear boy, yeah? Mm-hmm. I'm going to ask that y'all give us a wide berth when we leave with our apples and water. So you just want us to step back a little bit? That's all you want? I'd say about 50 steps. 
50 steps. That's a bit... That's Give or take. A few many steps, don't you reckon? Maybe to the... You guys planning to leave the front door or the back door? I haven't thought that far ahead. Would well, you just want to give that one a little think and let me know, and then we can go I reckon together. the front door, because we got nothing to hide. We're just a simple family. Oh, I love that. No, I do love that. How simple about... dust farmers trying to make a way in the world. Yeah, are you going to be getting on your guys' horses? Do you have horses, or...? Uh, we don't. We... You don't own horses? We're working folks, so we'll use our legs. Okay, so how about... There's only three of us at the moment. Mm. How about I'll stay and look after your son, make sure he's fine. The other two will oh, go Oh, he'll about... be coming with us. Oh, oh sorry. I don't boy. think he can. How about he You're can... You're telling me what I can't, can't do with my boy? Um, no, I'm just saying I've got to make sure he's okay. Because you did say that you would beat him. Can you give him a better life than I can give him? Yes, I can give him an amazing life. All right, we'll leave our son here. If y'all will uh, give us to the, uh, once we leave the store, I don't want to see no long arms in town, and I'd like yeah. you to wait three seconds. Okay, so you're asking a lot of things here. We need to have a definite. You want my boy. No, I don't want him, but I want a better You can't trade my boy for three seconds. We you can't really do this whole three second thing. You know what I'm saying? Well, then I'm going to need that no long arms. So you don't want, as soon as you step out the door, you don't want anyone to have long arms on you. That's right, and about, you know, about 50, about 50 steps back, give or take. Okay, so we're going to have to narrow that down another step further. It's the no long arms or the no, or the steps. We're not doing 50 steps, though, sorry. I'd rather the three seconds. <laughs> you got to stop jumping around. Hmm. Look, how about over there, you see that little steel thing? The two officers that were waiting what? over there. The little steel thing. You want uh, me to step out of this door? No, You no, think no, I was no. born yesterday? I'm with you, see, on the fourth. Oh, oh, I'm okay. With, I'm with you. I'm okay. With. Well, um, do you, no, I don't want you to step out. I mean, you guys step out when you're ready, but I'm saying... That's entrapment, <laughs> I think. Oh, what, what is she doing? For, for training, I'm evening out the door. We're just getting him ready. Okay. We carry us. He's a night. He's a a boy. He's not only milk. He's also disabled. Okay, that's lovely. I'm sorry to hear that. Um, like I said, we'll be waiting over by that steel thing. You guys come out when you're ready. We won't shoot you in town. We'll give you a little bit of your chase, and you guys can try and get away. And you know, we'll do our thing. All right. We're taking our boy, right? All right. Do you? Oh, well, do then. you want to go yeah, tell go. the other one? Thank yep. you. They're gonna give our boy a better life. They're gonna uh, give him what I could never could. Oh, I feel so bad that we couldn't give him. I'm I know, sorry, oh Sonny. God, I I'm a terrible mother. It's all right. We got yeah, apples in our water, so we'll be on our way. What? I was just saying she's an amazing mother, you know. She's yeah. done the best she can in circumstances, yeah. but dust exactly. farming ain't what I used to be. Follow me, Miss Smith. Yeah. I don't pay well no more. Just give us a second, okay? And we'll be able. I'll there, give you tree. All right. So that all right? Well, it looks like we're ready when you guys are. So when one of you, well, when all of you step out, why not? One, right, if you want to take them you, 50 step steps, give or take back. Yeah, I'll just step over here. I'm not going to be chasing you or anything, but you go when you're ready. And I've told them to go when they're ready, so. All right, everybody. Letty, Letty and Frank, you can hear me? Yeah, right, I can hear. As soon as we leave the door, we're going to cut right and just sprint and just put on a bit of a show. All right, it can do. Tree! Alright. <laughs> it's just training, Frog. It's just training.
<laughs> Why did I give up? <laughs> oh no! Oh my! Mr. Hughes! Got a stitch! Oh, you got a stitch? Did I do all right? Yeah, you did great. You get on the hot seat. I'll run. <laughs> okay. Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, oh my God! The criminal! Oh my God! Easy horse. All right, I'll run. Who the hell is this on the back? Did we win? Ow, oh, that's me. Yeah, he, we have the fist oh, fight. We won. And he hit <laughs> me with the <laughs> He hit me with right hook like Tyson. Oh! That's a devil right hook. I was just committed to the run. <laughs> no, you're right. Good. I made the mistake of stopping and looking behind me. <laughs> I mean, you both ran past me and Lady. I thought you were the uh, one that did, to be honest with you. Oh. I was in the bushes and I cut onto the road. That was good fun, though. It yeah, it was. Good. It's it's hard to put yourself in the in the mind of an insane person. Oh, really? Yeah, like, I, I thought you did it pretty well. Yeah. You're starting to sound like my ex-wife. <laughs> what? Well, I just I can't. Like I, I could put on the voice, Thanks, you know, I can hold a knife and act all like Keep that, but then I don't know, like, it's hard to put yourself in the shoes of, like, what kind of the bloody demands do they want? I think they just want to get home and eat with their family like everybody else. That's right, I just... That's I, right, they wanted a snack. I'm trying to think, why are we robbing the store? And I, I just, I just can't... Well, I did go past Little Haven, they have the 50 cent apples, so no wonder. I, I just, I, I just, it's hard to put my, my feet in their shoes. I just think, well, just go get a job. Maybe you got big feet, sir. Huh? The law department's hiring right now. Just, just sign up with the law department. Is this an advertisement? <laughs> what well, is man, it's is a bit counterproductive because we're advertising to ourselves. <laughs> At least you're right. trying. When you're gonna escape, run to the saloon and that's it. <laughs> Please help me, I am sheriff, this criminal. Oh god! Right. Please help! I got Criminals, you. I need you back in the uh, general store. Again? Oh hell. So team one, can I get you to stand at this red building please? Please help me. Oh. I'm crim oh, oh, I think oh, I'm no, team oh, one, no. Mr. Hughes, so I might need to... Oh. Am oh, I going back in? Happened, Gun yep. loose? Oh hell! All right. You got grip too. They've got. They'll get him. I gotta. We're doing this again. Anybody else want to do the talking this time? Miss Lady should do the I talking. I thought that Hughes is I the uh, spokesman of your group. You want me to put on another character? Uh. I would like Butch. to be. Miss Harkness, you can't be the hostage every time. Why don't you try it a little bit? Would you like uh, to be a criminal? Minute. Is anybody have a scary voice like that? Oh, I can a scary voice. Um, let me think of one. Just really back the throat like a... Everybody, make sure you have your writing voices on. Criminals, are you ready? No, we're still working out who we want to be. You, I could do it again. I could do like no, a... No, I could do it. I could do it. But I can't. I don't know if I can do well, it. Well, I, I, I did a lot last you time. Do you want me to be the hostage this time? Yeah. And I'll, yeah, I could be really like, please, I've got so much to live for. How do I how do I kneel like Jack did? Lou, what are you doing? I'm I'm just here watching. Oh. Okay, but I'm a I poor. Think it's a okay. Surrender. Okay. All right, you guys. Big surrender. He's... All right, go go. Sheriff's department, make yourself known. What do you want, Mister? Oh, hey, good evening, Miss. Uh, what's going on here? Oh, nothing. We're just having a little cruise around this here store, sir. Uh, I've had a report uh, that you guys are actually robbing the store, which looks like, and uh, you got. A nice little hostage there. Are you accusing me of being a criminal? That's so mean. <laughs> uh, well, you know, he's down there in a surrender position. You know, is he all fed and warm? We just want to make sure he's safe first. Please, I have so much to live for! 
You can you can't just can you? <laughs> he seems quite scared. Is he all right? He's fine. Just give me a moment. Okay. Will you, will you calm down? God damn it! I'll give you some water later. <laughs> no, 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 no! Feed him some water now if he needs it. We don't need him pass. Uh, I'm okie dokie. I'm okie dokie, sir. Okay, you're all good for water, all right? Okay. He need something to drink. All right, okay, I just don't want him passing out. All right, so uh, I see there's three of you there, you know, mm -hmm. good-looking bunch there. So why do you need a rubber store for? Well, that's just a little hard down on our luck, all right? We're just, you know, it's tough out here, especially being a lady, all right? It's just no, really difficult no, out I, here. I, well, I don't know why you're being so discriminatory right now. Well, to me. You called me a criminal, and yeah, I asked you know, why I, I'm robbing the store. Yeah, yeah, well, you know, we get the reports that the robbing's happening, and see if three of you's armed with guns, and, you know, <laughs> hostage there, you know, just putting two and two together, making four. Hey, Brox. Well, it's funny. Yeah, you know, anyway, yeah, right, so, uh, <laughs> so what is it you all want in this evening? All right, well, see, if, if you want to see a gentleman who is saying that he is not thirsty, right? You're not thirsty at all. You want nothing, correct? I'm, I'm fine. Fine as, fine right. as rain. Fine. Okay. For that gentleman, we yeah. would like a wagon. A wagon? A wagon. Uh, what do you want me to do with this wagon of yours? I want you to park that wagon out the front door. Park the wagon out the front door? I don't know if I can get a wagon on uh, that quick of a notice. What? Uh, have you got a, uh, you got a different request? Do you care about them? All right, well, let me see. Let me ask you. Do you fellas want something different than a wagon? It's all right, sir. You just relax. You, you sure you're not thirsty? Uh, Pardon? Arabian? Uh, uh, I just Ooh, would really right. love for them to have a, a, a wagon. Okay. What about an Arabian? Uh, uh, best I can do, uh, is a Kentucky Saddler at the moment. <laughs> on, sh uh, on this short notice, you know? A Kentucky Saddler? Wow. That's how you feel about that man? He's no, no, no. You Saddler. know, I, I like this man a lot, but, uh, you know, we can't just get specific horse breeds out of, I don't know, everywhere, you know? Okay, we'll take the Saddler. All right, oh, we'll okay. take the Saddler. Okay. All right, so you, so you want one Kentucky Saddler? Yeah. And then I want you to just, if you could do a little dancey dance too, that'd be nice. You want me to do, wait, no, no, you get one request because you, you got one fella in there. I can't do, I can but do a little. But you want to dance for his life? I, you don't care about him at all? No. <laughs> there, I'm doing a dosey -si do for you. All right, wonderful. See, I feel better. Yeah, okay, all right, okay. So, so, so you just want the, you just want this one horse. We've got the one horse at the front here. For three of you, okay? Now, the hostage is going to stay here with us, right? Mm -hmm. Um, is, is that all? Is that all you want? Yep, that's all we want. Oh, that's all you want. So as soon as you walk out, you're going to go for that horse. Yeah, we're going to go for that horse. All right, then. Um, and uh, you're almost done, isn't it? Yes, give me a moment here. Let me talk to my companion. All right, we're going to do it like you've given me all the goods, right? You two get on the horse because they're going to go, oh, my God, it's the one on the horse, right? And then I'm going to try and go. I think right. Lou asked us to go to just, what was it, the saloon or something? Saloon, yeah. All right, so just try and ride the horse around in circles to the saloon or something. Um, um, and I'll run off with all the good. Sounds good. All righty. All right, we're ready. Uh, is the horse ready? Uh, the, the horse is just over here next to the red building. If, if you just pop your head out the door. If you could bring it a little bit closer. Criminals, if you wouldn't mind just running to that building where the other de deputies are. Okay, okay, yeah. here he is. Right, he's right here at the front here, right? All right, thank you. All right, we're ready to go. All right, and then, and, 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 and. Let's not, we're not leaving the town. Not leaving the town. <laughs> not leaving the town. Come back, come back. We're <laughs> not leaving the town. <laughs> Criminals. One more time. In the building. Oh, for fuck's sake. Group two. Over to where it. the group one is, please. It's scary. It's hard to get into the mind of a over criminal. Here, please. It's, yeah, because if you get too far into the mind of a criminal, what, what if you can't come back? Now, yeah, Mr. and I'm not Levi even wearing my own hat, so I'm a little scared that I'm getting a little too into it, so and I don't want to be a criminal. This. I'll be standing back and watching. What this about you, Frank? Do you want to turn? Okay. Oh, I can do it, yeah. All right. All right, give us your best. Now, I had an idea for another character if you need it. You're a imperialist Englishman who wants to return it to the way it was before the, the, the war. Uh, if you need it, if you need some inspiration. We're going to give the recruits a little try. Go easy on them a little bit. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, 
wish I had my own hat. Oh, you got to drink it. <laughs> Just the one. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yes, sir. <laughs> yep. There's another day in tumbleweed. Yep. Out farming the dust. Got to bring that dirt in, get in that living. Yep. Uh, excuse me, sir. Would I position myself at the front or the back? How many drinks okay. does this need? I've only got this gun, is that okay? okay. Yes, sir. It's just endless cowboy cocoa. Howdy, folks. My name's Levi Sykes. I'm with the sheriff's office. How are we doing today? Howdy, father. All right, we've had some reports of some uh, suspicious activity in the general store there. What's uh, what's going on? Oh, I'm not too sure, partner. Yo, criminals, can't hear you. You're not too sure? I'm not too sure, partner. We're just in here browsing. You're just in here browsing. Well, like I said, I've had uh, reports of some suspicious activity, and uh, looks like you may have a hostage there. She's just a cashier. I think she's meditating. <laughs> Ma'am, are you the cashier? <laughs> I was, if I live. Ah, I see. So, uh, so you're, they're holding She's you under dramatic. duress. <laughs> Did you just call me dramatic? Yeah, no, so I don't think she's being dramatic. I think, uh, you know, I think she's well within her rights to sort of feel, uh, a little bit worried in this situation. So, you're telling me you're not, uh, you're definitely not robbing this general store. Is that what you're telling me? No, we're just having a look around. Right, okay. Well, here's the thing. Uh... <laughs> I don't want to, I don't mean to call you a lie, but uh, unfortunately I don't really believe you. So I'm going to, I'm going to go with my better judgment here and I'm going to play it cautiously and, uh, you know, treat it as if this is a hostile situation. Um, I'm sure you'll like, excuse me, I'm just, uh, something personal, but I'm just trying to do my job uh, and you can understand that, uh, the safety of that lady behind you is my top priority. All right. All right. Fantastic. All right. So ma'am, have they, uh, they haven't hurt you, harmed you in any way? Um, would you say threatening my family and my dog is harm? Uh, well, it's, uh... I don't believe we did that. Well, that's, that's, uh... <laughs> they said they're not... gonna kill my little doggy. Right, I mean, that's probably emotionally harmful, uh, not physically harmful, so, uh, Look, uh, we'll look past that one for now. Um, but, uh, you haven't been physically harmed at all. Well, besides the push and... And the okay. mild little... They were kind of yelling and mean, too. Okay, yeah, well, let, uh, folks like them, uh... Again, I'm not accusing you of anything, but they uh, they tend to be that way. But anyway, um, how many of you folks are in there? Uh, at least four. At least four. Yeah, four. Okay. All right. Well, just start to be transparent with you. Um, there's four of us here as well. Um, we do have someone watching the back door. Um, so, obviously, like I said, uh, my priority is to get that lady out of there safe and sound. Um, how are we going to make that happen? Oh, I think if, if we had a couple of horses out front, we could we could be a bit lenient. A couple of horses? Um, all right, I can do that. Uh, I don't have a massive selection of horses uh, out here, but we can probably organise that for you. Yeah, anything with four legs will do. All right, no problem. So if you just uh, if you just give me a minute, I'm going to confer with my colleagues here, and we'll uh, we'll get those horses sorted for you. How does that sound? Sounds good to me. Perfect.
All right, we're just start organizing the horse for you now. All right, be Chris. It's getting hot in here. All right, we're moving as fast as we can. So, uh, you fellas new to town? You've been around a while. No, oh, we've we've been here and there. Here and there. You uh, you do this sort of thing often? Yeah, we we, we usually shop quite a bit. Shop quite a bit. Right. Right? Usually, uh. I shot quite a bit uh, with your weapons drawn and uh, keeping people under duress. Uh, that's a wild place down here. Gotta uh, be ready for anything. Uh, fair enough. It's not for me to criticise, uh, you know, your folks' way of life. But uh, can I uh, can I call you anything, sir? Like I said, my name's Levi Sykes. Call me Man One. Man One. How about uh, how about that fellow behind you with the lovely long locks? Man Three. Uh, Guy with a really bad beard, tell him to put his gun down. We'll blow the hostage's brains out. Out the back, gun on us. Well, I was out the back with that gun out. Put it away, or the hostage dies. One moment, let me organize that. Relax, fellas. Can you just watch the front door, Black Hat, please? Thank you. Not with your gun, not with your gun, with your eyeballs. Fellas out back, make sure we're not pointing any guns. Daddy. They're getting a bit antsy in there, alright? Alright. I understood. Help me, miss. All right, gentlemen. Are we? Uh, how are we doing in there? We're all done. I think we're ready. All right, no problem. If you just give me one more moment to confer with my colleague, um, and then we'll uh, we'll get the show on the road. Oh, where are these horses? Uh, there's one to my left, and there's one to my right. Would you like them both together? Yes, please. Right, all right. in front. No problem. Uh, White Cat, can you go grab that brown horse and just bring it closer, please? Thank you. All right, uh, I'm going to stay back with the hostage. I'm going to ask them to bring them out to the right-hand side here near the, next to the pumpkin. I'll stay back. Um, if you three just want to um, sort of gather up, make sure you have some cover. I'm sort of behind that round barrel there behind you. Um, and we'll, uh, we can all go out we'll different doors if you want. Okay. Yes, please. Just run fucking every direction. There we go. That's for them. All right, gentlemen. Um, when you're ready to leave, please bring the hostage out to your right. I'll be remaining with the hostage and my deputies will be giving chase. Does that sound fair? Uh, I think we'll just leave the hostage here, partner. Uh, no, sure sir. Well. I want to make sure she's... Uh, She's out here and safe with me, if that's okay. Oh, I don't like being exposed like this. Well, that's all right. I mean, yeah, the hostage is there, and as long as you know you're uh, you're out here and you have guns in your hands, we're not gonna we're not gonna, gonna make any moves. All right, hostage, get up. Oh, let's walk her outside. All right, ma'am, just over to me. Oh, Push. please stop that! Uh, stop pushing it. Just over to me, man, please. They threatened my doggy. Poor doggy. End scene. Ah. Alright, regroup. Ah. Alright, everyone in front. Sorry, Frankie, you move all as well. No, I'll just. I was going to say, that's my horse, I'll just get rid of it. Alright. Firstly, great work to you all. What I noticed was that you all were listening to your senior in charge. Okay? That's exactly what we want to see. Communication. 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 What did I just say? Communication. Communication. Exactly. Communication. The more you guys communicate with each other, the more you have the situation under control. At all times, have your weapons in your hands. You don't have to aim it, just keep your weapons in your hand. Okay, you don't know what will happen. Okay, they could pull a fast one on you and then you're stuck with your weapons in your holster. Okay, be prepared for everything. Uh, like, it's good to see you guys uh, putting the uh, the hostage first, okay? Hostages always come first. Whether you have enough people or not, 
Hostages are first. Okay? Your main priority is to get them out. Chase after. But for the most part, you guys did very well, and I'm very happy with that. Now, this one here shouldn't be taken very lightly. This situation is called a breach. Now, breaches should only and only be done if your superior officer tells you to do so. Okay? Breaches are when there are absolutely no hostages, okay, and it is safe to do so. How to initiate a breach? Make sure you see how many people are inside the bank or the general store. You breach if it's safe to do so. If there's three people holding guns at you and you just go and shoot, then probably going to get shot back. You what you want to take? You want to seize the right time, the perfect opportunity to go inside that bank and take them out. So wait for, you know, wait for them to maybe drop their gun after I said holding out a hostage, right? Sorry, doggy. So if they're sitting there, guns on the dog, all right, and they're like, oh, I'm gonna take my gun off the hostage for a second and walk around, then you can breach. But she went, never mind. Never mind, we said there was no hostages. Yep, yep, I just remembered that, sorry. <laughs> you want to wait for the perfect time. So when they lower their guard, when they lower the guard, that's when it's time to breach, okay? But like I said, no hostage, absolutely no hostage. And like I said, always should be enforced by your superior and always listen to everything that your superior tells you. If they tell you to go wait over there, you wait over there. If they tell you to go on the roof, go on the roof. Don't make your own decisions. Listen to it. Because that could be the decision that will cause life or death. What about... Uh, ah. Do you have anything, Mr. Ames? No. So, uh, there will be times when you can take chase and everything like that. You can use a little bit of initiative. So, uh, if you're... Um, you know, if you're not doing a whole bunch... Uh, you know, if you're not guarding a door or something like that, you might want to, you know, position a horse somewhere close by. Your horse, get ready to run and chase them. Chase down the uh, criminals and such. And the, probably the main thing is, in each of your cities, each building's different. So, you know, different entrances and exits. If you have a good idea of, uh, you know, you probably want to look at those businesses because there's a good chance they're going to be robbed. So you want to know how people can get in and how people can get out. And, uh, that's uh, that's gonna do you a whole uh, heck of uh, good knowing that. Uh, yeah, down to Saint Denis. Uh, good luck because you got them alleyways. But I would recommend uh, having a wander through and just see because I tell you what, there's a lot of places where you can go down an alleyway and up a stairwell, and mm -hmm. some somebody can lose you. So uh, if you know those back alleyways, uh, but like the back of your hand, that's gonna that's gonna help you a lot. Same as Blackwater, there's a bunch of places you can get up on the rooftops. That's uh, something you're going to be considerate of, because there might be somebody up on the rooftop. So when you're looking to secure an area, you might want to uh, check out the rooftops, make sure no one's uh, up there posting up, ready to uh, take you out if you're chasing their buddies. Another helpful hint, if you're in St. Denis, feel free to borrow the local carts and block roads off. Back in my day, we used to do that, you know, to, you know, to sort of slow down the criminals sort of make a perimeter so the uh, citizens don't go wandering into the bank. Stay vigilant at all times. It's good to see that you guys are covering all exits as well. That is that is a must. Other than that, I want you guys just to be, like I said, respectful <laughs> to people. Keep professional. Go out and meet the townspeople. Go out and talk to people. Meet them. We don't want them just thinking that you know, we're wooden puppets with no souls. Go out and talk to people. That's one yeah. thing. That's one thing Wolf will stress to you guys. Go out and talk to people. Know the communities that you are you are dealing with. You can find out a lot of information if you just talk to people. Other than that, I think that's it for now. Okay. Okay. 
Sorry, I also want to thank you guys for attending tonight. Oh, I gotta go. There's a fucking robbery at Dharma Dillon. Oh, can, we all, can we all go? All right, so just quickly, balls. thank you all for attending. I know this was last minute. Um, oh, imagine 20 sheriffs yeah. rock up. Yeah, should we all rock up? Nope, nope, nope. So, okay, so uh, some of you, whoever's on this side of the jurisdiction, go to go with the right. aims. Uh, why are you saying the west or the side? West, 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 west. What? But, okay. Just go with aims for now. We can all go have a look, we can stand and watch, but... I think Lou respects the life of his desk and pen. <laughs> uh. A witness has reported a crime. Oh no! A man has fallen into the river in Lego City. Build the helicopter. Fish him out of the river. Quick! <laughs> Great name. I'm a woman. Oh. Um, the entire town. We're just having a little party in here. There's no need to worry at all. Oh, they like that. Yeah, sure, sure, sure. Guys, tell them how much uh, you hey, like being there tied might up. Be some uh, law that run in to shoot. Okay, just maybe step back. Hmm? There's, yeah, there's some law coming oh, in to shoot us. Oh my god! Oh shit! Oh, hang on, I'll handle this. Right, there's, there's just a few of them. Yeah, they're just a bit protective of the store. That's all. Who the fuck are you? Let's have a look at the hostages, okay? Not, not doing. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm not gonna run in. Uh, Two fellas on the floor. You guys okay? Yeah, we're fine. Wow, they Need don't even water? count you, man. I don't even see her now. I do. I'm, you okay, I'm fantastic. Man? Thank you for asking. Thank you for asking, senor. The people that are hard tied by the ropes. Oh, okay. oh, can we? There's a couple at the back here. Oh. Yes, Hello. Hey. Hello. Oh, wow. Yeah. Fix it. 
Well, yeah, we're just we fixing this door. We tried to get into the, uh, into the bank, but the doors were sealed tight, so now we've got to, uh, we had to take the cash register, so... Yeah, we decided to take the cash register, you know, have a little party. Um, mm -hmm. These people quite enjoy being tied up, don't you? Don't you? You enjoy being tied up? Yeah. See? The noisy Fantastic. one's about to get shot. I would prefer you not to shoot them because we do care about them people. Uh, oh, yeah. You guys uh, have any demands you want to spring out? Did you hear that? Oh. He cares about you. He cares about you guys. The only you. person. Uh, what's that? Demands? Uh, yes. We would like to get out of here alive. That's uh, that's probably a good plan. Oh, oh yeah, sorry. Like that's a good one. Out here alive too, so I'm sure we can work something out. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah, I mean, uh, what are they worth to you? There's three of them, and I don't know. How many of you are in there? One, two, oh, three, five four, five of us. Five of you? Yeah, we, see, we we're see. we going to do a bank, but, uh... I need a drink, girl. Girl, I need a drink. Yeah, okay, so do you guys, what do you, what do you want to do? How do you want to get out of here? Uh, we might need some horses. Need horses? Oh, what'd you say? Oh, uh, armored vehicle? Oh, that sounds great. Oh, oh yeah. I don't think Can we get an armored, armored vehicle, vehicle with like oh, the the what's the one with the gun? Yeah, like, no, like I don't. Th gun. I think I think that's an unrealistic thing to ask for. There's no armored vehicles out this way. I saw one oh. once. It had a Gatling gun on it. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's that's not possible. That's something that. Can I get uh, one with a little lamp on it have. too? Oh, I'm sure if you have your own lamp, you could put it on it. But uh, I can try and get. Some form of wagon, I don't think there's. Like, we're in the desert yeah. here. Hey, do we want wagons or do you want horses? Oh, I don't know. Can we have all of their horses? Oh, oh. can we Can we have your horses? You don't have your own horses? No, we don't have horses. We horses are expensive. Town, uh, by the train. Oh, I can sort something out. Um, let's give this two seconds, okay? One. Two. Three, four. They're lying. It's a little longer than two seconds. I feel like this was too bad. Let's shoot the lad one first. I feel like if you shoot him though, like he'll just blow up with how oh. much alcohol's inside him. You know? <laughs> really? Is that what happens? Hmm. <laughs> I think it is. I think it's minty, Rando. Are you napping? Still not across everyone's huh. voices. Why? Oh. Get to know your hostage, you know. Uh, oh. Why? Oh. Why aren't you robbing this place? I no, mean, I am your captain. Oh, it is minty, producer. Make, how, how do you make money? Hello. What? You got a job or something? Oh. Sure. How much do you get paid? Lucky for you. Have you seen the top of the pond? Hard for me to get a job. Well, I uh, survive. Oh, yeah. You two gentlemen out here. Is there a gentleman? Was there one? Two. One? I saw Hello? one up there. Hello? Hello. Howdy. Hi. Are you guys okay? It's quite hot out there. It's 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 damn warm out here. It is. It's pretty shit. Would you okay. like to come in? Can I have some water? No, Todd, it's a trick. Do you, you want to come in? No. You've been really nice. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, we would love to come in, but just not here, under these circumstances. Here, let me throw up some orange oh, juice. Oh, she gave me orange juice. Yeah. See, I, I'm I'm just trying to be nice. Would you like an orange juice too, sir? If you could throw it that far. Um, I'm a little worried that I might just spill it. Oh, um, I don't want to spill orange juice out here. Yeah, you go to the door and get it, you. Right. Yeah, look, Hard. look. Hard, cover me. I'm coming up to get the orange juice. I right, hand it out as far as I'll come. Thank you. There you go. <laughs> I'm so nervous. Why are they so nervous? Hello! Still gotta fix my yeah, stamina. Yeah. Can I get a 
white hole? Oh. General Why? Why? I'm gonna grab those two, those bodies. Yeah, this one. The lad one? Can I get a white horse? Why not? Uh, well, what do you think we are? That I one looks kind of lame. Nag. Yeah. Jesus Christ. That's pretty fucking shit. No one could ride a scrawny nag. I, I waited longer than two seconds for this. Don't say Jesus's name in vain. Oh, uh, yeah, I'm so sorry, sir. Sorry. You're going to have to do better than a scrawny nag, I'll tell you that yeah, much. Yeah, yeah. Which one are we gonna kill first? Um. <laughs> Saint Bellastrad, come in with the raid again. I've missed you on in county again. Thank you. Thanks for coming on over. What were you? Did you have a good night in country? Thanks, partner. We're doing some loud training. Down in New Arsenal. Give me a white one! We have Hello, met! Sheriff. I see two white ones over there! Yeah, I want one of those! Nice. Yeah, those ones look I imagine you're quite lonely over here. Like oh, Sergeant yeah, Green, thanks for the follow. the very end of the road over there. <laughs> oh, yeah, what? What? You were there! It doesn't talk. Oh, we yeah, you're right. Wait. Oh, those two white ones at the end! Wow. What the okay, hell? Rude. They're not even being used! Oh, I'm taking the white horse. Hey! Hello. Where's that white horse going? Oh, perfect. There Howdy, we Crow. Oh, does he not like you? Oh. oh. Hello. Alright. I could just shoot him right now. Oh, don't shoot him. I just gave him he some orange juice. Nice... Oh, he can hear me. He moved. Alright, I think they got that horse. He's beautiful, but he doesn't know it. Is there any other commands you want? Um, well, I just wanted a white horse, but yeah, obviously that's not going to fucking... Yeah. Oh, did we? Safe, safe oh. Oh, wow. We have a white horse. Yay. Oh, I'm so sorry, ma'am. I, I really am. Hail? Oh, that's cute. Saint Balstrad, you were there. Are you, gonna count are you Letty? Or are you? You're not Dinger. Mississippi's. Because that's Tom Loy. You're not. Who? I don't. I'm not sure who you are. That's great, but okay. Who are you at the training? Yeah, I think he's a little frustrated. Welcome back. Hey, wait, hold up. Can you not say Mississippi? Is that why you don't want to say it? I'm not sure who you'd be. I think that is. Can someone educate the sheriff? There's no, there's no white horses. Thanks, Jumbo. I'm Mississippi. Who Mississippi? Yeah. Okay. Who okay. Mississippi? Okay. What if I stand on the horse? Oh, yeah. What's the plan? Oh, no. Nearly ran you over earlier. Ah! Uh, you shoot you from the roof? I don't know. I reckon I could drop one with this Winchester. Don't, don't come too close. We're supposed to chase Dude, I don't sorry. Know who's chasing or what? I nearly ran over. Oh god. The one in strawberry. Oh, I'll oh. go out the back, but just be okay. careful. One in strawberry, and there's one on the bridge. You were on the bridge with the doctors? The. Elodie. Oh. 
Elodie? The white one doesn't like me. Come back. <laughs> I think I need more horse. No more hints? Ah! Oh no! Oh, but thank you for the raid all the same. We're standing by in case they come out the back. They've run out the. I think they ran out the front. <laughs> Don't you move, criminal scum. Oh, they they all came out the front. Oh, we'll leave it with you, Hughes. Oh, it's all yours. You got them, Hughes. Howdy, partner. Just make sure you keep the gun at them. You criminal scum. What do you think you're doing, huh? I don't appreciate you guys. Appreciate us? Don't have to appreciate the law, see? Just gotta live by it. You fellas are liars. You lied to us. What'd they lie about? They said we can get on our horses and we got out of the store that got us. Oh. Where's your integrity? I believe my integrity's on a farm, sir. Who who gave you the promise of getting on the horse? Those sheriffs. They said they were going to give us... Get on the horses and give us four seconds. Oh, they shit. They didn't even do it. Oh, shit. And they didn't do that. They didn't do it. took about front. half an hour to get on the horse. See? He just admitted it. Well, I can't speak for them. I was around the back and I couldn't hear anything. Oh, I want to take that. So. Sorry. Thought so. Oh. Whoa, you've got big arms there, man. I, I think you can carry both of us. What? Ugh. Sorry. Oh, we got two. I wanted the hat. Oh, you can carry. We do. I can also tie my shoelaces. Yeah, yeah. Show oh. me. Well, it sometimes takes me a few goals, but, you know, get there in the end. Show me. I've never seen anyone tie the shoelaces. Actually. I ain't doing that now. I, I mean, you don't even have shoelaces. Yeah, he does not have to. Another lights. liar. Wow. Very disappointed. I, I don't want to untie him time and retire him right now. I'm on the job. And he said he left his integrity at a farm. Damn. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah he got it. It's all done. Oh, no, the drunk one's stuck. Oh, no. It's a loud one. Hey, Bunda. Hey, drunk one. Him. How's this <laughs> go? So, did he, did he, uh, did these uh, gentlemen take you hostage? I yes, have I no idea what just happened. Um, no. this man they just, is trying to just, yeah, He woke up and they grabbed him. They grabbed you? That's not <laughs> very nice. So, sir, if you'd like, uh, I'll give you one free kick on each of them if you'd like. Oh, I'll definitely kick the back one. Hang yeah! On. <laughs> That's oh, a good ow. kick. That had some what? pepper in it. What the hell is wrong with you? <laughs> God, that, that hurt. <laughs> he kicked the wrong person, you scrub. <laughs> oh! oh he there we go. That's he's still right. kicking no, the wrong down. one. Oh, he's, oh, oh. he's down. Oh. Where's the Texas Ranger? Yeah, yeah, I think what? Uh, it was a little bit too much for him. As soon as I get up out of here. I think he had too much to drink. So, so the Pinkertons left him to us. Do we take them back to Blackwater? Pinky who? Uh, a, yeah, that's probably a, best. Uh, there is a sheriff's right. place just over there. Look, you got a place right. just over there. It's, it's not. It's outside our jurisdiction. There. I'm not sure if we're allowed in there. I can open it up oh. if you'd like, George. It'll be easy. We got permission Aren't just for they... this time? I don't care. I'll just open it up. Are they training down in Tumbleweed at the moment? Is that the Texas Rangers place now? Yeah, the Texas Rangers can do with them. Yeah, they're they down in Tumbleweed, processing? apparently. What's your, it fell on my shoulders. What's your name? 
Uh, nose flash. Nose flash? Yeah. <laughs> nose Who? flash, you suck. Oh, okay. Come on now, I'm not the one that just got caught robbing a store down in Hummadilla. I wasn't robbing a store. Sound like you were. What? You're supposed to You're be lying. Supposed to be putting money in the till, not taking it out. Lying about me robbing a store? Again, I was around the back. I didn't hear shit. That one's open. Yeah, All right, have fun with them, boys. Ooh. Yeah, I didn't say it. Booty. All right, I'll lock your Z chain with them, and you can uh, process them. Oh, good. Are we uh, are we even allowed to this? Ain't our jurisdiction? No, we're not. Yeah, yeah, you can. If you want, wait, can you see your paperwork? This is very uncomfortable. Oh, shit, sure. I thought I'd drop you service. on your back. Oh, sorry. Uh, can you access your, uh, can you access your, uh... I'm gonna cut off your, your, your belt there now, yeah? Uh, yep. To cut your belt off. No funny business now. Right, I'm gonna get you on your feet. Alright. Good, so I'll cut your gun belt off, just gonna get you up. Um How do we how do we get access our book again? Press hug. Ah! Oh, it's a hug. None oh, of that. Oh, okay, okay, okay. It's not like that. Come on. Now. <laughs> Come on now. All right, Next one's all right. going in your head. Very surprise hug. You're already in a lot of trouble. Any funny business and you're definitely not getting out of here. Man, trouble Quick for search it. Cuff him up, George. I got a gun on him. Okay. Why are you me? I'm just gonna stop. 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 Fate. Turn away. Stop looking at me. I'm feeling violated. Trying to get around behind you. I, he, he keeps. There, you got nothing on you. Okay. Let's get you. How do I? Your mask off. I can't. Well, I do this, George. If just he's gonna move around. I'm, I'm trying George to get around behind him. him. No, don't get. There get up. Moved your mask, sir. Sorry. Stop the there you go. All right. Stay, stay. What? No. I just kept on the bed. Do it. Look at my top. That's weird. There. Now I feel a little bit safer. There's no light in here. That's annoying. I suppose. I suppose. This a, need, being Jack, outside our jurisdiction, do we just get photos? Yeah, we just have to get photos. It's not our jurisdiction. Could we even charge? We can do an incident report in case they come up to civilization. You tell me what you want to give them and I'll uh, send them on their way. Yeah. Oh, what was your name, sir? Uh, Lee. Lee. Um, Mister, name? come over here in the light. I'm going to get your photo. Just Lee, is it? Uh, yeah, face face the fellow with the lamp. Okay. Yeah, hold that right there. I'm going to get my camera out. Mr. Lee, I'm just going to take a nice little snapshot of it. Got a nice little memory. Oh. This has got mood lighting for him there, uh, Hughes. Now, can you take a step? Oh, no, that's no, just no. a step back, sir. Me? Oh, no, that's fine. No! Nope. Don't get any closer. All right, yeah, just stay right. No! Oh, no! Oh, it's kissing you. Around quickly. Oh, George, you're kissing Stop you. moving around! Hey, there get back here! Oh, you're moving away! Something's wrong. I'm, I can't... Face me, please. It's like I'm drunk. Yeah, get off the bed! Yeah, something's weird there. That's it. Stay right there. F no, face me. Give him, uh, Get bank up. Robbery. No, bank robbery. General Stand store robbery. Yeah. Kidnapping. Gosh, face me. Control your prisoner. Oh, give me a second. This guy's Mr. Lee. No, turn and face me. Stay right. All right no. Oh, hello, fellow. All right, hold. Don't move. Oh, you, you bastard. Stop. Uh -oh. yeah, very interesting uh -oh. shirt there. You got it. Yeah. Get? No. Do you know how yeah. long it takes to take a photo with these? He's dancing with you, All right. there, George. No. no, I don't know where it come from. Okay, man. thank you. Yes, looks different. Looks nice. All right. Now, you do you have any ID on you? Uh, yes. So if I check yes. your pockets, I'm going to find ID? No. So you don't have ID on you? Not on me. Where is it? It's not on me right now. Is it in the bank? It's so what do we do here? We can't really send them anywhere. Oh, I can. Oh, you can. Well, that's good to know. 
Well, let me uncuff him before you do anything. I uh, oh, I yeah. left it at my nan's. Uh, I'm going to uncuff his check your pockets here. Where does your nan live? I can go One second, sir. I'm just you. trying to develop this photo. She lives pretty far. Oh, okay. Mm. Uh, I would I would have stopped him for some pie, though. Oh, she doesn't do pie. Oh, she doesn't do pie? Okay. No. Oh, that makes me Not sad. Not that then. kind of nan. Oh, okay. All right. So, okay. So, how do I spell your name? Right. So, it's uh, F. Yep. You. No, okay. We're going to. What's your real name? And what's his? Okay. It's one, four, five. I told you. Wait, you oh, it's, oh, it's, it's not you. Shit. It's Flash. So you to put it in there, so get Bella rid of it. in the other cell. What's yeah, your friend's name? It's the occurrence. It's the. He looks drunk. Say my name. Say my name. What's his name? Well, oh, what you do to him, Harkness? Oh, he's, he's drunk. drunk. Oh. How's he drunk? That's unfortunate. What's his last name, Jack? What's it? He's Lee got no last it? name. I can't get it. Just Lee. Just Lee. Ooh, Is it name, actually uh, Newsflash? It's got Lee's last name. Is your name Is actually somewhere? Newsflash? <laughs> It's a good name, sir. Hey, where does Dana Flash live? I want to go get some pie. What kind of tree did you fall from? You had, yeah, you I, to drink, right, not any kind of tree. Like a, a, I, I bet it I was a big one. The wrong bottle. Oh, it might have been. I don't know. I don't re recall. You got some TJ mm -hmm. Peppers here. You'll be fine. That cures everything. Todd, I don't know what this fella's name is. Hit him with your shotgun, then. It's News Flash. So, whoa, whoa. Now, I don't want to hit you with so my news gun. News What's your name? Oh, yeah, you're too soft. Well, just Come give on, us, George, give us your name. Aggression. What's your name? Uh, do you want me to spell it again? No, I want you to say it normally first in a sentence. Say it in a sentence. All right. Fuck you. See? There you go, George. That's Some enough aggression. of that cheat. There we go. <laughs> oh, hell no. You're going to have trouble okay. saying it probably with no teeth soon if you don't start cooperating. I would really like There's to get off this bed. There if you need it. I'm going to ask you again, what's your damn name? Uh, it's... Put his head in a piss bucket, George. Fuck. No, nah, put, put his head in a piss bucket. The longer you take to give us your name, the longer it's going to be, the hungry and thirsty you're going to get. Uh, you're not just wasting my time, you're put wasting your own. Piss bucket. Uh, oh, a piss bucket. That's a yeah. great idea. Yeah, piss bucket in the corner. Just put his head in there, George. You stop cooperating. If you cease, if you don't stop crying, I I will stop cooperating. I promise. If you keep delaying it our time, to we're going to add more time yeah. to your sentence out in Cisco. All right, my name is News Flash. All right, George, put his head in the in the piss bucket. Right, that's it. Head in the wait, piss bucket. Wait, wait, wait. That's really my name. It is written. News Flash. So N E W S space Flash. No, it's um N E U Z. Oh my god. Nuez. You can't spell. And then that, that too. Uh, it's Flash. Be able to spell. Is Flash but, normal? Yeah, Flash is completely normal. It has two L's. Two? two eyes. There's no I in Flash. All right, George, head in the piss bucket. That yep, head in the piss bucket. Come on. Oh man, not again. <laughs> there now, you got to tell. You're gonna give us your actual name now. <laughs> uh, don't tell him. What do you need? Another drink? Right, Jack, get him out of it's cuffs, Flash. It's already out of cuffs. It's Flash. Oh, Just time. Flash. Yeah. Yes. The easy way about this. Let's give it a little notice. Alright, it's Flash. Alright, sir. Yeah, we'll Wait, be charged with uh, know, just robbery and kidnapping there. So That's we right. will be going to Cisco for some time. Again. Hey. Um, I don't have the keys. Ames, what more do you need from me? I got his I got his stupid photo. His name's Flash. What hey. else you need? Oh, Take uh, that back. Uh, last one. Hello? No, out, please. Can you take that back? Please, people. Hi. I can't uh, take it back. It's uh, done. Yeah, what's up? No, 
Uh, at random people. Your photo could have been good. But you kept moving around. Uh, hello? Sir, on the phone. I had to go with... I had to go with whatever I could get. Get her in the cell. Leave. Now. Hello. This lady. Why? Is she one of them? No. Oh, there she is. Oh. She just pushed me off a cliff. On the no! Get your chin! Piss written face away from me. Back! Just give me a little hug. Oh, back! Oh, right, please brutality. Please brutality. Uh, yeah. Do you want to get her, Give me a second, ma'am. I need to deal police with this. Please ma'am. Wait, do you want me to put her in the house? Sit or? down. Am I allowed to sit down? It hurts. Lady, did yeah, you, you see that? Yeah, you sit down, ma'am. Oh, is that a police yeah, officer? Yeah, Todd, you find out what the hell's going on. All right, Just hello. Oh, oh, sit down in the seat there, please. Oh, you saw that. I saw that, man. Oh, Mr. Lee, you are uh, being sent to Cisco and uh, you will be detained Everything there until hurts. your court date. Thank you very much. Yeah. Sir. I'm going to Cisco. Oh, you're going to Cisco. I don't want, I don't want you oh, to meet wow. You'll both be, uh, you'll both be going to Cisco. so much what? talking here, I'm my ears. That's, That's right. right. You'll be going there. Yeah, to what did I do? You were yeah, we'll be with you just in a minute. interfering you know, with general store activities. Going on, you know. Yeah, that's fine. Go to Cisco for that? You you were holding a hostage. They're alive, aren't they? None of the hostages are killed. They could have yeah, been. They could have. Yeah, but you still took them hostage. They could have received they some actually. bodily so, harm. What are, you, what are your friends' away. names here, by the way? They complain. That mental trauma oh, they have to carry for the rest of their lives. Oh, these fellas. Do you know these fellas in the cell? Who's the lady? Hello. I don't know. I want you to get oh. I was just heading out of Tumbleweed. Oh, because then... old Miles here said you're part of the part of this crew. I'm no, he just chased me down and then pushed me off a fucking cliff. 30,000 oh. minutes. Of course I chased you down. And now you if I am cuff you, you're going to behave yourself. He's fighting me near the cliff. You started fighting me near the cliff. Yeah, because I'm not going to let some random stranger man with only one eye touch me. I ain't going to let a woman who just rather general store get away. Don't you rub your piss you face on about? my back. What do you mean what I'm talking about? What are you talking about? You're on the horse. <laughs> You're wearing the same attire you were in the... Put the, the, put the, put the, this one, put the mask on around your neck. Put that on right now. Oh, I don't want to be up here. No, it's not. That's because uh, I did that. Uh, no, 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 put it on. Put it over your face. What's it saying? Rude what? to, like... Put your feet on the bed. It says I'm going to listen to a man. It's an accident. Do I have to take him there? That's wild. I might have to take him there, yeah. Hey, we're just done my scene. Can you not pass me over to Edgy? No, you just finished your solitary confinement. I got Edgy nose. Don't you do it! I got to piss Edgy nose. If I were robbing General Store, I would have money. When I was chasing the horse to stop, you didn't stop. And then... What's... And then... Thanks, what are we doing? I push you off the horse, you continue to run near the cliff. Then you went near the cliff. I asked you to stop. You didn't stop. Uh, you fatty. pulled out What's a lasso, started Flash. fighting me, and mm -hmm. then you fell off the cliff. Oh, fuck so. Now, Big old Alex, tussle. Just, just a question here. Who are you? I'm Ranger Miles. What's up, okay. Hey? Yeah. Right. Um, What's up? Do you have a badge or uh, a yeah. Where's your nana's house? Yeah, I'm Ranger Miles. This is, this is my nana's house. house. Oh. You just uncovered. I didn't know that. Yeah. Not happening, Flash. You're going to Siska. Oh. You're going to think about what you've done. Of New Austin oh, with, uh, wow. They're going to Siska. Hey, how do we get to Siska from here, George? We have to take them all the way out to Blackwater. Probably. They robbed the store. That's a uh, long way. You go to Siska. You got to go back that way anyway. Store? Okay. Well, you know. I guess. I mean, uh, apparently that's what the other sheriffs here are doing. Miles is visiting my neck. Wow. That makes no sense. Oh, God. I want to go see his name for the pie. George? Up to me. I'll give you the all the pie. The pie is a lie. I'll take you there. All right. George, what's his number? Well, if you send them to the mine for thirty seven. minutes, so but yeah. like, who gets the profit from that? I take whatever they mine and then I give it to the local business around Armadillo. Wait, which is profit to you oh, for us? That's, that's, well, that's idea, really actually. nice. Yeah. I would love to Ow. do that, but you see, you threw me off a cliff. You keep oh, saying, I I "Don't look at me like that." You probably never had to hit, but and you tripped before, and you know, fell right? off the cliff. Not yet. Not my fault Black you were there. Black you ran. Story. You ran to the cliff. I don't your, even know how old that piss is. I don't even know who works down here. Now to the cliff edge, and you decided right. to fight me near the cliff edge, and lo and behold, bad. you fell off the cliff. I I think my time. legs are out of this. I'd right? rather not. But then I would avoid it because I would just give Look, my name. At the end of the day, you're rather general. You store. food or water, so yeah. Yeah. Oh, no kid. Don't add to it. That's good. Shut up, what's going on, sorry. Oh, George. Like you threw me off a cliff. Oh, my God. Is he, is he abandoning you there, uh, Harkness? You went yeah, to a cliff. Oh, it's all right. I can't believe you just made him You don't have to put his head on against my kids. All the way down here. Okay. Now, sir, I'm going to uncuff you. Any funny business? I don't want to see any funny business now. Would I ever? I'm going to lock him in cage. 
I got more piss where that came from. Get him up to uh, black. Uh, uh, get him up I to bet step over here for me, sir. Smells like daisies. Uh, All right. Just just off oh. Have you got a so wagon down this. here, Mr. Sorry? Mr. Yeah, Rams? Okay. Got, All right, I'm gonna take these out. irons off your wrist, and then I'm gonna tie up with a rope, okay? I don't know what's happening. The... Before I tie up the rope, uh, do you need to chuck a piss? Nope, that's all right. That's yes. All right. Nice. You're, well you're free to use okay. the, the... I do not want to use the piss bucket. I just put my face in. Can I piss outside? Mm. I'm going to have to... This occasion, I'm going to have to be pretty pretty serious about using that there bucket. Mm, I, uh, fair enough, Can I get some fresh air? You get, I like uh, to, uh, can you hold it? Stage Mr. Yes. Uh, yeah, can, you can hold the, the it till Cisco? Or maybe uh, piss off the oh, boat? Oh, oh, damn. I like piss off the oh, cart. But, you know. We're going to have to risk it. Okay. Oh. Alright. I'm going to take you outside. Now we're going to take you up to Blackwater and get you on a boat to Cisco, alright? Oh my right. god, are you, are you okay? So Anybody get this door open for me? Mr. Hawkins. Serve it up, man. All right. Todd, uh, you get this door for me? Okay. All right. I'll, I'll drive it this time because the skews always crashes. Can I get a hand with this door here? You, you guys yeah, yeah. look like uh, seasoned uh, sheriffs. We, we were kind of oh. expecting, like, you know, uh, not you guys. Yeah, but. Unfortunately for you, we just did a training session. Literally not 10 minutes training. ago. Oh, oh shit. That's right, you picked the wrong getting... time to rob the, the dirt store down here. Ah. I'm right. gonna drive this time because you always crash. Now, how do I put him in here? Uh, you, you gotta cuff me. Uh, uh, I'm seasoned. Uh, oh, now I gotta at cuff going you to prison. Yeah. Alright. Alright, guns on him, fellas. I got this guy. Yeah. This way, sir. All right, what, yeah, what we'll do with him no, first. Yeah. Back this way, indeed. Where am I going? Around. Towards the metal thing. In the wagon, Prison sir. Prison wagon. How do I get up there? That's the question there, sir. When did that tip line get there? What's that for? Oh, uh, you mean uh, which one? Oh, the one just there. Yeah, the mailbox. What's that yeah, for? Yeah, no, so if you see any... Uh, you got any... Or something. Put a note in there. All right. Sheriffs are corrupt. All right, gun on so this fella for me. Uh, if you're worried about right, I'm gonna get and you up and I'm gonna cuff you. Uh, growing, uh, and this one smells like daisy piss. Cocaine and stuff. You can put, All right. uh, I'm gonna put these irons back on your wrist. Hey! That's for punching me. That's for punching me. That's for punching me. Oh, now we gotta dance around again. Or you can drop. You can drop. Okay, we don't have to dance here, go. Oh. Yep! Yeah, hey! It's uh swag and done feel a little off. Yay! No! Oh. Bye, Mr. Oh my god. No! They run off. I told the others to put a gun on him. Get on! Is that both of them? I think just one. One's got cuffs. I can't see shit in this fog. Know where he went? He rode off on a horse. Have we at least got one of them still? I think, I think so. I, I literally asked for people to point guns at him. Why didn't he have cuffs on? What happened there? I was untying him from the rope to put cuffs back on him to put him in the wagon. Did you enjoy the drink? Did anybody hear me say to point guns at the guy I was on time? Uh, what guy? The one that's run off. Right here, Where'd he go? I was on the front of the carriage. Oh my god. Someone oh, run away. 
get this one away, he can serve double the time now. Until okay. He's oh. Fuck me. Uh, <laughs> get him up, Siska. Fuck him off. Yeah. Get him out of the town. Right. Bye. Bye, Mr. Prison Man. <laughs> Back uh, hard, hardness, are you coming out the front? <laughs> is this my horse? <laughs> Have fun! Yo, Harkness! Oh, oh George, are you sitting up front with me? Oh, come on. Work. 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 It's not my horse, <laughs> yeah. why'd I jump on that? Oh, that was good stuff. Do you need any extra bodies there, Ames? No, we've got plenty now. I'm happy with it. Yeah. We're heading up to Blackwater if you want to come, though. You're more than welcome. Alrighty. Box issues, couldn't hear, couldn't hear anything properly. Right. Yeah. Everyone had hearing problems apparently. Like, no, yeah, no, don't don't help point guns. Oh, no, he's asking about who. At the well, fucking well, lawman well. dealing with a prisoner by himself. Nah nah, don't 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 step in. Don't step in. Just stand back, you know, it's cool. We need to feed and water him. Yeah, Todd, are you just holding the wagon there, Todd? Make sure it doesn't roll. Yep. Yeah, All just right. holding the wagon. Yeah, we got guns on him. Yep. Get out, sir. I'm coffee it. Ah, make sure you have your food and water. Your friend decided to go for a little bit of a walk, unannounced, so, uh, all eyes are on you. You are good? to the back of the wagon. In you go. <laughs> Make sure you lock the back there, Harkness. That's locked. Okay. We all good? Yeah, all good.
Kumpel. I don't know why George had such an issue driving these. Whoops, it's this way. Sorry, guys. Attempted robbery. Or well, armed robbery. Happen. You're only going to be there for a short time, time sir. But uh, your friend made it worse for you. He was mouthing off and all sorts. Well, it's going to be a simple little. Uh, Your friend is a lippy one. Even when he had a face full of piss. At least you could call it piss face from now on. Well, it's a good thing you gentlemen were around. It gives us a chance to make sure the guys can uh, get a handle on moving this wagon around. Sir, you'll be getting yourself a lawyer, that's fine. How do you know how do you know whose jurisdiction it is there, sir? See George learned how to drive drive a cart like that. Taking you out now, sir. Well done. Since you crash yours all the time, I'll be cart man now. Let's come this way. Down to the docks, put weapons on it. Hold on, I want a lawyer first. He, he wants his lawyer, Harkness. Oh. I feel like Where's you're he? legally detaining me. Are you even from St. Austin, sir? 
talk to the marshal. Because you arrested me. Marshal arrested you. you carried, no, this guy here carried me all the way into the jail cell. So what the marshal told me. Well, the marshal's yeah, but do you have direction to do that? Uh, marshal told me to do it, so obviously I did. Is the marshal in there? Uh, oh, he's got the blue pants on. You the marshal. No, no, blue pants here. Go tie. You the marshal. No. Are you the marshal? I don't think you understand blue, do you? This guy here, the bald one. Uh, oh, up the front. Oh, this guy here. Oh, I can't see him. Yeah, right. He's still in the still on the wagon in Mars. Might need instance. What? Good. I think that one. He's still on the wagon in my eyes. Ah. Uh. Wait, am I flexing my stash instance? Can... Ames, are you on or off the wagon? Ames? Mr. Marshall? Yeah, you got me. Are you, are, are yeah, you, you currently, are you currently seated on the wagon? He's on my eyes. They both might need to do it. Oh, there we go. George. George. So, we're just Hughes. gonna get you up Why? Did you see that? We'll be there to meet you and have a chat. Nope. You're not happy. Uh, you're, you're on duty? Well, I'm not happy going to Cisco. Oh, the report? Yeah. Yeah. We'll just get you up there for yeah, a minute Emerald. and deal with it there. It's only gonna be for a short trip because you've already spent most of your time in the wagon. Well, I feel like you've, uh, I was legally arrested. Uh, sir, I only get, I only came in at the end of that, so. Uh, well, he just I told was... me that you ordered him to arrest me. The marshal ordered it. You tell, take us in there, Mark. What? Oh, he had to take you in there, hundred percent. I told you to take him in there. You're on the street. You... I'm Rather saying... than have you stay night in the road. The Texas Ranger told us to grab you. And is that allowed? He's the, the, the Texas Ranger can tell these gentlemen to help out if he wants them to, 100%. That's what they're told. Well, they are lawmen. Anyway, sir, get, you just come with me. Gentlemen, I'll handle this one. You okay, okay. Yeah, so I'll get my cuffs back. Uh, Hughes, we gotta go. Yeah, yeah. I'll give you another set of. His aim's definitely done. Yeah. Yep, yeah, I'll go with him. Oh. So I still don't know how to uh, charge someone. Oh yeah. Yeah. I haven't, I haven't been showing any of that yet. <laughs> Fuck it, I ran into a tree.
Привіт. Hope it's not a train. You're right. Yeah. I need to have a shower before bath before I get sick now. Yeah. Still there, so what we're gonna do when we get close, you're gonna go right, I'm gonna go left. Okay, okay. And, and try and pincer him, okay? Sounds good to me. Does my horse just needs to breathe over the yeah, hill? Yeah, yeah, that's cool. That's that's all right. Give give it, you know, a little bit of time to get its, its gas back. We're gonna make it. Uh, I don't know what we're gonna do if uh, they go over the state line over here, though. Oh, well, I... Just... Yeah. Well, we could just uh, drag it back across. <laughs> I'm sure we can work something out. Yeah. Alright. But yeah, yeah, we'll uh, take one side each and... Uh... So I'll take right, you take left? Actually, I'll go right, so I'll probably get there first, and I'll shuffle them out the left side. Good thing. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, rather than... Because if they go out the right side, they're closer to the state line. True. So, yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll go the, uh, the far side. Shit, yeah. Uh, let, let, me, let me know when you want me to uh, gallop fast. Whoa! <laughs> yeah, not there. All right, well, uh, yeah, this will be interesting. Nearly. All right, let's do okay. it. Lord Department! Hello, sir. Lord Department, hey. you could jump off your horse for me for a second? Y'all hey. seen any uh, illegal activity happening in Emerald Ranch just now? Uh, no, we were no. just getting some crops. Just getting some crops? Yeah, we ran the lolly shop. Want some peppermint? Uh, not right now. Okay. Do you need to search me, sir? Do you want me to take my clothes off? Did you or... see anybody else there? There was actually two shirtless men. There were. Look, looking quite sus. Okay. Can I? So that, that this is your names for me, please. Marvin Rowe. Dolly Rowe. Marvin Ro oh, Marvin and Dolly so Rowe. Okay. All right. We're, Look, we're not I'm, related. I'm gonna take your we're, word for it now. We're not related. We're husband and wife, please. All right. Thank you for your time. Please, we're not related. 
It's totally going. If I have to do a report, I'm totally writing that they're brother and sister. <laughs> Howdy, Lord Department, if you don't mind stopping for a second. Lord Department, please pull over the wagon. Just need a minute of your time. Howdy, partner. How you doing today? Can, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. I can help you. I was just wondering, uh, you just been through Emerald Ranch just now? Um, me, no, I came across the... Um... Railway tracks. Railway I tracks. Yeah, I didn't come through uh, Rimworld. How can I help you? You haven't seen any illegal activities or anyone uh, doing anything weird in the area nah. just now? Nah, not yet, not yet. Uh, we've just been um, hunting and um, trying to live off the land. I respect that. Now look, I've just had heard some reports of drug dealing happening with a, with a fella that... Matches your description. Now, do you mind if I take a minute just to just give you a quick pat down? Yep, yep. Let me get off my um my wagon. Appreciate it. Won't take won't take too long. Ah, oh, but appreciate your patience. My name's my name's George Hughes. I'm with the West the West Law. My name's Lakota. 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 Yep. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. I don't okay. want to take up too much of your time. Now, I'm not going to cuff you for too long. It's just to give you the pat down, and then we'll get it out of the way. Just take a sec. There, I don't want to be too rough with you. Okay. All right. Just one sec, Aruni. No problem. Looks good to me. Yep, looks good. Okay. Ah, right, looks good to me. I'm gonna uncuff you now. Awesome. I really Thank appreciate you. your cooperation, Lakota. Yep. All the best for your um search. Thank you. I'm just trying to keep the place safe and people healthy. Now, yeah. Appreciate it. Don't take up more of your time. Thank you. Thank safe you. travels now. You too. What a polite young dude. Todd's all right. I should have checked the cart. Imagine that you yeah, imagine like there's all these dead bodies or something. I didn't, didn't think, hey. Oh, here's some shirtless guys. At it. Anything? So, uh, myself and Frank were looking from the distance. The only two people that we saw here were Marvin and Dolly. Yeah, I ran into them, and they were adamant that it was two men without shirts looking sus. Yep, that's obviously not us. I spoke to a, a Lakota. He, I think he was a Native American fella. Mm -hmm. uh, he was very cooperative and polite. Let me let, let me give him a pat down. No suspicious, yep. just a man living off the land. Yep. Did you just well, search Marvin and Dolly? I did not. Pretty, but I got their sure. names, and it matches with things I've heard before. If if we continue to see them in situations like this, that's okay. So right now we do a bit of investigation on them, yeah. File the case, and then uh, we build up on that. So All if right. you, as I was saying to Woodman, I got Woodman to fake search us, put us in cuffs. If you ever see Frank and I out of uniform, we are undercover. We are not. I see. Yeah. Do not tell people that we are Pinkertons, because the less people know about us, the better. Fair enough, but yeah, I, I wanted to search. I wanted to search the two of them, but I just I was worried about Woodman. Right, look, at the end of the day, like I said before in training, you know, if we have an idea of who it is, we build up a case. That we they were adamant it. as well that they are not related. If that helps. Were they related to each other? Well, I figured they're brother and sister, but they reckon they're not. Oh, okay, they're brother and sister. That's I'm really pretty weird. Sure, they're together because Marvin keeps talking about how he's got a house with. Oh, is this, is this his sister that he married then? I don't think it's his sister. Okay. Cousin. I mean, it could be. You never know. Yeah, okay. Well, who knows? I mean, it probably could be. Yeah, yeah, I thought we were ask him done this. with that. That's yeah. concerning. So what we will do is we'll put our hands up and we will walk away slowly. Mm -hmm. We will see you gentlemen later. All right. If, if you're see comfortable, us. let us know. 
Yeah. Oh. I reckon it was Marvin Dalek. Yeah, next time I see him when we're doing a report like this. Would you like, like to this. see him dance? Sure. Oompa, oompa, Goodbye. Okay. See his next time. Uh, you want to go Valentine? Well, I'm, I'm a bit tired, to be honest with you. Oh, well, can we, do you, can we just go via Valentine? Yeah. Mm. When we've come out for reports like this, have we seen them in the area? No, the first time was that uh, it was your, your friend D, Deviant. Yeah. And then uh, this time it was them, so... Yeah. So what, they run a lolly shop down in St. Denis. Is that right? Correct. Well, that would make sense for them not to shit where they sleep. But, but that, yeah. okay. So they but said why, they were coming Emerald up for... Ranch? Why Emerald Ranch? Why Emerald Ranch all places? I don't know. Well, they said they were coming out for farming goods, but if they just sell lollies, why do they need to do farming? Sh uh, sugar. Of course. Oh, they make it themselves? Uh, no, they sell sugar at the farm. Okay. Yeah. Well, look, it might just be a coincidence, but you never know. Yeah, well, if we see him around Emerald Ranch again, uh, I'd say even if we don't have a drug notice, we search him. Yeah, because now that's... Yeah. So it sounds like either Pinkertons are across, if they'll investigate them over yonder in St. Denis. And if we catch me, we'll, yeah, we'll pat them down. That sounds good. Yeah. yeah. All right. We got them. We got them covered on two fronts in case they're up to no good. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, but, uh, yeah, the old Emerald Ranch has a bit of issue every now and then. It does, doesn't it? Yeah, there's been, uh, well, the day when we were there, and then there's been poachers, and then people just coming through and ripping the crops out, and oh. multiple drug dealers. But I'm almost thinking someone just sit to the Emerald Ranch all night. Why would you want to do that to simple farming folk? Yeah, I don't know. Like, that's the, that is the backbone of our economy. Yep. Un unbelievable. Uh, good times. But if you happen to come across him as well, the fella I ran into a uh, Lakota. Okay. Uh, I, I think Native American fella. Uh huh. But yeah, he was real polite and uh, cooperative, and just he says he's just living off land. So if you have a deal with him, yeah, he's got a good, good. Uh, okay. He was a stand-up citizen. All right. What do we need to stop here for? Oh, I some I take a glance, Dex, and sometimes I'm like, I don't even, I don't even, I don't even bother reading it, eh? I'll read like blacksmith or guns or something, and I'll be like, I don't even have the fucking money. I'm not even gonna bother. <laughs> then I'll be like, what was that, chat? <laughs> What'd you have to get this time? Just putting my ore away. Oh, of course. You know, it's, uh, yeah, I need one more Illumina ore. Well, you dragged me out to Valentine. We probably should stop through Strawberry on the way, just, just for the peace of right. mind. Okay. I think we need, I think... 
What? Huh? Hey? Oh, maybe a lap of black water would be really beneficial. Yeah, we'll do a strawberry and then a lap of black water and then I'm going to bed. Alright. I'm a bit tired and i got work tomorrow. <laughs> just, I'm just so tired. Oh, dear, oh dear. Dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. I'm a tired boy. Oh, Dex, I, I, I am very tempted to make a character that works with the trains. I'm so fucking tempted. <laughs> no worries, Saint. Have a good sleep. I might not be on tomorrow, but I will keep an eye out. Um, I will keep an eye out later this week. And I'll try and figure out who the heck they are, because I try and... You know, anyone that's new to the server and streams, you know, we, we like to show our support. You right? Yeah, I shot the floating lantern. Oh. So it's good to see more streamers on the server. So we, we try to, you know, raid over and, and that. Pop a lurk when we can. <laughs> See, I wouldn't mind doing that like once a fortnight or something. Just, you know, dedicate a night to just driving the trains around and that. Like, that'd be really chill. That'd be nice. That'd be fun. Holy show uh, Oh, sorry, I'm yawning. I'm yawning a lot now. I don't. I don't know if I'm going to bring back Valdemar. It's just because I had to spend a lot of time off stream mining to make money so that I could just do fun stuff as him as much as I could during streams. And now with the reset, you know, I got to start again. I got to get a wagon. Got to get like I had. I had a decent wagon. And two fully upgraded pickaxes, and that's gone. And it's just, it was, it was a grind, man. And there's a lot of people didn't play along with the whole vampire thing. Like, everyone was just like, you're a vampire. And it's like, fuck me, dude. Like, just, people weren't really playing along. It just kind of made it hard to try and do more with it. Just couldn't be fucked. I really appreciated that, Dex. That was really nice of you to do that. <laughs> Sorry, Crow. Howdy. 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 guy doing his way.
strawberry always seems so nice every time we ride through. Whoa, what was that? Snake. Oh, yuck. Oh, I forgot to give the snake fangs I got to Miss Dolores. Oh, dear. Because I, I think you can make the anti-venom for the snake fangs. Oh, Dex definitely considered it. But the sort of the sort of idea with Valdemar was what that once people helped him that they sort of went off his target list. Like when Dome started helping him out, he he stopped going to get him. There was that sort of side to him. But I definitely I, I considered it. Imagine people f go out and they find a train just sitting there and the driver's there, like, passed out. That, that actually could have resulted Oops. in some interesting investigations, now that I think of it. Like, why, are, why is this train driver always passing out behind the wheel? Maybe we should check the bison on the way in. You reckon someone's attacked the bison again? Yeah, well, there might be. Just, just a quick look. No one cares about the bison. Was that you? What? Did you shoot? No. I just heard a shot. Bison? Oh, there they are. Where? Over... Where I'm facing. They seem relaxed. They don't seem like they're on edge or anything, which is good. They're all just grazing. Yeah, they look like they're they look like they're happy. Uh, I'll head on in. Sorry, crow. He's selling dick cheese now. Oh my god. <laughs> That's great. Oh my god. Yep. Hawkman said the uh, sheriffs over uh, over in the other district get paid more than us. They may they might uh, have more money coming in than us. Yeah. I don't think I've found anyone yet. Neither. Are they alright? I don't know. Oh, gunshots. Yeah, we're alright. They're shooting at the other side of town, though. Yeah, what's going on? Oh, Up here? Way. Towards the dock. Towards the dock. Towards the dock? Yeah. Department. Howdy. What the bloody hell's going on over here? Bumped over this, bumped into this gentleman, and he started shooting at me. Why are you shooting the at one, him? The one tied up here. Tied up. Mr. Jones. Oh, I can't see him. Mr. Where? Mr. Jones here. Yeah. No, yeah. No. Not, not me, fellas. Not me, fellas. Hey, there's some invisible fella on the floor over there. Oh. Uh, fell on the ground. Can you think of a slash instance for me? 
can't see this guy right here. No, can't see anybody on the ground. It's really weird. Where is he now? Is he now? No. Oh. Oh. Right. oh dear. Hey, uh, let me try something. You see this guy here, don't you? Yeah, hey, George. Hello. What's going on with the shooting? Oh, we're trying to find out. There's an invisible man. Yeah. Woodman. Oh. Okay. Police officer Jones is shooting at me. Who's shooting at you? The cops. Yeah, Placement under like... citizen's arrest. Oh, was it? A, it's a local. Yeah. Oh, Anyone I leave? see. I see. I see. So oh. you're just the local thought you were invading his personal space or something. He got aggressive. Yeah. Scary okay. Shit, all right. I thought it was actually. Okay. I get it. No. All right. All right. Now, yeah. As long as it's just a misunderstanding between you fellas and a the local, then everything's okay. Yeah, that's all I was. Uh... Now, see, yeah, standing see, here for me now. Yeah. If the locals ever give you grief, self-defense is self-defense yeah. is okay. Hey, how are you? Good. Uh, sorry about that, guys. Not nah, self-defense is fine. Self-defense is fine. Thank you for your. Wait, that, he's fighting an invisible crazy. man. Thanks yeah. for explaining. Thanks for explaining. Oh everyone. wow! Look at him. It's getting beaten up by an invisible oh, man. Oh, he's got me. Imagine oh, getting beaten oh, up oh, by an invisible oh, man. Oh, oh shit! Oh. Okay. Holy shit! Oh Jesus! <laughs> Just pull down okay. the way. All right. Roy, Roy. Don't lose to an invisible man. <laughs> Can other people see this invisible man? No. He's not crazy, is he? Um, he might be. Well, he's not hurting anyone, I well, think. Like, did you... Oh, oh did what's going on there? Let's go get our money from Ames. Okay. He's just, it's like Fight Club. No water. He's just fighting himself. <laughs> Good, how are you? Not bad. Uh, all the uh, shooting going on. Uh, local. Oh, okay. Yeah, uh, we've come for our payment from the security detail. Oh, right, yes. Uh, give me two seconds, sir. I'll be right back with you. These gentlemen haven't been, haven't been paid, uh, for their activities and security... So that was a hundred dollars each, right, Ames? No, it fucking wasn't. You're getting forty each, and that's it. It's coming out of my fucking pocket. Forty? Yeah, forty. I know sixty sounds better. Forty's better than nothing. Yeah, I feel ripped off. Yeah. And yeah. next time, I think we should come to terms with the marshal before. Why is that man floating in the air? I don't know. Hello. High on life. Yeah. Well, it was Ames's office again. I don't know. They can make a character right. called local. Thank you. Uh, oh, good. That's not us this time, Hughes. That is not us at all. Wipe my hands of that. Uh, I feel uh, like, where's uh, Harkness? Uh, I don't know. We left him here with you when we went to Emerald. Uh, I didn't say. Oh, you did actually. Yeah. Uh, George, do you want to hold on to Harkness's money? Give it to him. Uh, no, sir. All right, he can come see me later. All right. I should put this uh, Winchester back before someone steals it. Mm. Oh, do you want to do a quick walk on the town, or are you you done? I think that might be the most of the troubles for now, so I might hit the hay. Mm. All right. Yeah, I'm gonna go put this Winchester back. Oh. 
This man is following me. I want to report a crime. Hello? Please, sir, do something. <laughs> Are you talking to me? Whoa! Oh, yeah, it did. His ass is a phen phenomenal. Phen phen so I, I, if you're talking to me, I can't see you. Oh, my God. You would never, Woodman. Woodman? I'm not Woodman. I'm George. <laughs> Who? What? Oh, my God. Woodman, are you talking to someone? Yeah, uh, them down there that are fighting in the middle of the road. I could hear them down the end of the street. You could hear me? I could hear her. Oh, they're yeah, actually yelling. I'm gonna put this gun away. There right. we go. Nah, Woodman, I'll see you later in the week. Alright, see ya. Have a good one.